welcome, welcome, welcome to our weekly one-shot game. How you guys doing? I am Silver Gray, the cinematic sorcerer, and I'm saying hi. How you guys doing out there? So, we're a little bit late because it is the Christmas season, and everything falls apart. That's just what happens. Um, let's see, what am I going to do? I'm just going to move a little bit there so I can look at you directly. And welcome to our weekly one-shot game where we do everything we can, every single individual thing that we can, to run a one-shot Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition game for y'all. How y'all doing? That's right. Um, so the premise of this show is real simple. Every week, I write a campaign. And I have people on the Facebook chat group because that's how we're communicating right now, um, <coughs> on the Facebook chat group. And essentially, it comes down to this. Super, super simple. I write a campaign, and I tell people, you know, I'm going to run I'm gonna run a beginner-level campaign, so make a level one character. And who can show up on Saturday for a game? We run the game, beginning, middle, end, call it a day, and that's it. Sometimes I write third-level campaigns. Sometimes I write epic campaigns. But your skill level as a player doesn't matter that's what I'm here for your knowledge of the system doesn't matter that's what I'm here for and this is all to show you guys out there in internet land hey twitch TV and all that stuff um, that how can I put it um, that playing these games does not have to be a chore it's not about winning it's not about numbers 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 it's really about being around people and having a good time that's all I'm gonna say so I want to introduce my players today so we're gonna start all the way around the room from my perspective so how you doing we've got Quinjen Quinjen the musician hey oh, tell them about yourself tell them what you do where can they actually find you on the webernets um, I have a YouTube channel it's just called Quinjen Streetwear it's kind of uh, it's kind of a niche channel but like I do jams and stuff and they're kind of fun and sometimes I do like little music videos awesome. so check that out um, other than that on Facebook, so I have like an artist page. Awesome. Okay, very, very cool. Thank you for showing up this week, especially considering that it is in between holiday time. Gotta love that time in between Christmas and New Year's where some people have time off of work, other people don't have time off of work, and everybody's broken tired. But moving around the room. Uh, hi, I am your clever little vixen, and you can find me at uh, clever little vixen at gmail.com. Yeah. And I am Lydia. I'm Quinn Jin's wife. Uh, sometimes we also do art together. Um, and my artist name is A Wild Kitty Appeared. Um, so you can find me on DeviantArt. I'm also on Facebook. Uh, I have a page there and I like to do some stuff independently and some stuff with Quinjin. Awesome. Or as I like, as I used to say, awesome blossom because I don't sleep a whole lot because that's just how I roll. Anyway, and of course, you all know me. Well, should I say some of y'all know me, some of y'all don't. I don't know. But I am Solar Gray, the cinematic sorcerer, and I am your dungeon master. So, for those of you guys that don't know, um, it's really, really simple, especially for those of you guys out there in my old neck of the woods, because, you know, we all miss my neck of the woods and all that jazz. So, here's the way it goes down, okay? Here is, here is essentially the way that it works. Number one, I, as the GM, write an outline to a novella or a short story or something of that matter, and then the other players, woo, the other players, ends up... Um, writing characters to play in my story. Now, do I have control over what they do? <laughs> no. But because of the rules of the role-playing system that we're using, in today's case, we're using Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Woo! Um, and because of the rules to that world, that is how we determine who gets to do what under what circumstances. It's really that simple. Um, now, to let you guys know, um, yeah, to let you guys know quite simply, um, 
if somebody wants to punch someone in the face, you roll dice, you do the numbers. It's almost like there are statistical mathematics involved to find out what is worth trying, what isn't worth trying, or what is worth trying for success and what isn't worth trying, or and what is worth trying for the sake of awesome. So, um, if you guys have any questions or comments or requests, you guys can actually. Um, deal with those things in a multitude of ways way number one if you guys wondering what if you guys are always wondering why I'm turning and twisting and all that stuff it's simply because I am running an entire wizard's tower I'm here I am here but soon you will not be here actually hopefully you guys will totally be here but you can totally find us at back in the deck dot, uh, back in the deck at gmail.com you can also find us at YouTube check the archives I've been trying to keep on top of that follow us on Twitter at back in the deck that's B A C K I-N-T-H-E-D-E-C-K um, Let's see, you can also find us on Deckers on the Book That's um, Deckers on the Book which is a Facebook group for um, Deckers and all that stuff If you are here and you are watching these shows you're a Decker I'm a Decker, they're a Decker, you're a Decker too and I hope we don't get sued for using somebody else's thing Now, if you guys are like me and you spend a lot of time in traffic you shouldn't be watching this God no, do not watch this if you are driving but you should be listening on SoundCloud. That's at soundcloud.com slash BID underscore P. And you can also find us on the Instagram at Back in the Deck. Now, for those of you guys that aren't totally sure, you know, let's say you guys want to do some stuff um, with us and you want to help, let's say, or you want to know our opinions on, on things like, I don't know, movies, games, all that stuff. We've got eight different shows like a lot of people are like oh i would like to look at your podcast and i go really which one because we podcast almost five days a week it is not a podcast it is many many shows because i'm old and i think in terms of television so if you guys want to help us out a little there you can check us out on our patreon look at that we've got a patreon going we've got four subscribers right now or for patrons and you guys can become a patron for as low as a dollar a month that helps us keep the keep the doors to the wizard's tower open helps us pay for electricity and also helps us pay for a lot of other things like spell components um various animals that we need to cart our stuff around and of course since it's the beginning of the since it's the beginning of the year, taxes are coming, y'all. Oh, God, the one thing that I don't have a spell around. So with that, I'm going to say, you know, thanks a lot, guys. And that is something that is really, really fun. And let me turn this down. Oh, look at that. Look at that. No, I said turn it down. Okay, there we go. Ah, now, what? Um, if you guys are new to the show cool if you guys watched our last episode which i hope you did because that is some fun stuff um we've got our title card going isn't that fun um we're actually working on an opening sequence because we're trying to roll that cool but this is the weekly one shot yeah. <laughs> you know yeah there we go that's i never quite understood that noise Woo, why do people make woo? I don't know. I saw it in the Karate Kid when I was when I was young, and it was like, yeah, look at that. I'm the Karate Kid. Woo! I won the whole thing. I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. Better than woo, woo. Hmm? You remember that? Yeah. You remember the whoop whoop? Is it, though? It doesn't <laughs> hurt your throat yeah. quite as much as ah! That's true. That's very true. All right. So, oh, my God. My hair is just a mess. Let me just... Let me get this stuff under control. I have a rat's nest, everybody. It's just one of those things. Um, yeah, it has been a thing because, it, like I said, it is the holiday season. Um, and how was your guys' holiday season? We'll start over with you two sitting next to each other. Uh, lots of fun. Uh, lots of stress. Lots of family. Uh, you know, you're really repeating yourself a whole lot. You know, stress, family, stress, family, stress, family. All right, just keep saying the same thing over and over again. Yes, yes, they are synonyms. Um, <clears throat> but uh, in general, in general, I, I would say they were good. I survived. So, yeah, yeah, I, I, all in all, it's a win. I'll take it. Um, we had a tree. That was the first time <laughs> we had a tree, so it was a new experience. Okay. Yeah, yes, how about Jews with trees. 
Okay. <laughs> and how about you, Jen? I'm really well, more of an atheist. Obviously, I spent my holidays at a young age. Um, we went to, uh, I forgot, we went to uh, a wedding. It was really beautiful. It was at a uh, art gallery uh, called, what was it called? Um, Coaxial? Co- yes. Yeah, it was called Coaxial. It's, uh, it's an art space in Los Angeles. It was, uh, it was just, it was, I've never been to a, like a queer wedding. It was, it was just, it was the best. It was awesome. It was just really, like, honest and true. Honest and true. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is pretty awesome. I'm just going to adjust your mic over here. <laughs> get it closer to your face. Oh, okay. You got to get your mic closer to your face. There you go. It's now closer to your face. Can you hear me now? Hmm? Oh, they can hear you. I want to make sure they can hear you clearly now. So... I've got, um, uh, here we go, here we go, where goes that? Ah, there we go. Hand me that red thing by your foot. <sighs> there we go. There you go, there you go. Physics. Cool. It's not just for breakfast. So, uh... Tell me more about your holiday experience. Uh, I'd really really rather not. Nope, nope, nope. Well, that was rather exciting. Now, (laughs) um, so let us get to this because it is 1230 in the afternoon and people's got places to be. But before I let people go to where they need to be, I got to say... Thank you guys for showing up as I did. Thank you guys for showing up. And thank you to NP City. What's Woo! going on, y'all? Hey, NP City. Where are you going? Well, you're not in it right now. You're, you're... I know, but I, I, I'm still saying hello. I, 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 I would be there. So, hi, NP City. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So, um, so <clears throat> let us begin. What, where, why, or when? It will all be explained like instructions to a game. Ah. Uh, Whoa, I didn't know I went to old school rap. So, we are in the town of Ravenswood, which is a considerable considerable suburb, um, an undisclosed amount of distance away from the town of Waterdeep. Yes, Ravenswood, where it is a town that is completely self-sustained with its own farmland, its own fishing land, its own waste disposal. And we have... Mayor Flavian Woodleaf, a very, very jovial man. And he really is. He's, he's a really cool dude. It's like, you know, he's, um, he's really fair. He's really, he's really, um, what's the term I'm looking for? He's fair. He's cordial. Um, and do what you can not to push him the wrong way. But he's a 32-year-old human diplomat. He likes diplomacy. And as we all know, diplomacy is a way of saying... I'll hurt you very badly, but I'll do it in the nicest way possible. And um, so who is playing what character? Let's talk about characters on this one. Let's start off with Quinn. I am playing a half-elf bard named Megis McGiggis. He uh, was a runaway as a teenager and uses his various talents to get along in the world. He's a likable guy, um, and he's a little bit of a of a uh, like a radical, and uh, he's he uh, uses his music to fight tyranny through sharing of information and lore, um, and he has a flippant personality. Uh, he changes his mood or his mind as quickly as he changes the key of a song. <laughs> Okay, well, let's hope there's some role-playing involved, huh? No. Um, All right, and why, and this is the question, why are you in the town of Ravenswood? I am in the town of Ravenswood because I heard that they had a lot of money. (laughs) Fair enough, looking for fortune and fame. Because, you know, a lot of people say music should be free. That'd be fine if rent and rent food, and bills were free for musicians. (laughs) (laughs) All right. And Vixen. Okay. Um, I am a human paladin uh, named uh, Murati. 
uh, just one name, like Madonna or Cher. Um, and I am traveling through the, tra through the town of Ravenswood with my fellow paladin. Lady Muriel of Riggins. Muriel Riggins. Yes, Lady Muriel Riggins. And you guys are traveling? Uh, yes, yes. We have been partnered together and sent out to do missionary work. Okay. Well. For our goddess. Yes. Our goddess, whose rules are very clear <laughs> and very precise and very focused on justice. <gasps> and that is our mission. To dispense justice to the world by way of just and us. Well, fair enough. So, um, we'll start with, um, we'll start with Figus. Yes, Figus. Well, this is your third night in the Murky Ale Tavern, and you've been pulling in a really decent crowd, at least for a town this size. You've had the complication of wondering, if this town is so rich, why isn't it very populated? Okay. Okay? But you're playing, you know, you're playing your songs and making your friends. Um... Sorry, guys. Hopefully, the gardener that might be outside the tower tending to the topiaries should actually, um, hopefully the topiaries will be done pretty soon, but you know how it is. We have the gardener come in to try and trim them, then they run because a wizard that's a Stephen King fan, you guys will get that. Anyway, as, as you were saying. Um, am I, am I playing right now? Hmm? Uh, yeah, yeah. We're, okay. yes. No, yeah. I mean, am I playing in my, am I... I don't know. Are you? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> sure. Okay, so you're on stage. Um, make a quick performance check. Yep. A, D a D20. 15. 15 plus your performance skill. Hmm? Uh, Under skills. Under skills in the brown section. Okay, so, um, grand total? Um, Probably 20, add your proficiency, 23. too. Hmm? 23. 23, uh, plus your proficiency, which is a standard plus two. Um, so you're at 25. Oh, man, you are killing it. Okay, cool. You are just killing it. You're you're not quite Hendrix at um, Woodstock, because mm -hmm. who is? You know, but um, you're, you're doing real good. The people at the bar are doing the thing. And... Um, as you are playing, there are two people that walk into the bar, right. um, heavily armored, very high polished, with holy symbols on their chests and shields. This place looks lovely. Oh, and live music. What are we doing here? We're stopping to shake the road dust for a minute. We're getting something to drink. I thought that we were going to speak the to the constable. We can do that after we've gotten a drink. I shall have a small flagon of water. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh, barkeep. And the barkeep, uh, the barkeep comes up to you, a buxom woman. She's a sturdy gal. Um, she's in her mid it, you would say like mid 30s early 40s you know but you can tell this woman is how can I put it um, the stern paladin sees a very authoritarian maternal vibe from this woman like very much the um, stern but fair and has no problem sparing the rod Okay. Um, however, the other paladin, um, what was her name again? Uh, Murati. 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 Um, as you look at Charlotte, you actually see, like, this is a pretty neat woman. This is a pretty neat woman. So, um, again, you can see her strength. And um, within, within her demeanor, it's very, yes, this is my place. 
Yes, I run it. Yes, I'm happy that you're here, but I don't need you. <laughs> and that is a flagon of clean water? Yes, and I am willing to pay. I have brought my purse. Well, um, I, I would assume nothing. I would assume nothing less. We're not known for charitable. And for you, darling? I'll take a flagon of ale, please. Okay. Um... So, you know, she heads over, and when she brings over the flagons, um, it is a flagon of ale and one flagon of water. And this is, a, this is a strangely clean water. There's nothing floating in it, and it's actually clear. Like, clear, clear. Um, not relatively clear in relation to the river, but like tap water clear. Or what what you would know as tap water. Here you go. Uh, that'll be uh, three copper pieces, please. I pop my three po- copper pieces neatly in a row in front of myself. Okay. Well. <clears throat> um, and of course she looks at she looks at you guys. Um, <clears throat> paladins. Hmm. Indeed. We don't get very many of those in these parts, but it's a good thing that you're here. <laughs> oh, are you in need of holy blessings? Um, holy blessings, I wouldn't exactly say. Now, some smite and retribution? I would even be willing to put up rooms for that. There is peril in your village. It's more personal. Oh, a justice that needs to be righted. Well, we all have our demons. And it turns out that my family has a particular one. Interesting. Tell us more. Uh, I believe it was in the days of my grandmother. Before we came here to Ravenswood, um, we were on our way, and unfortunately... The caravan stopped at what we thought was an abandoned temple, at least as my grandmother said. And of course, the caravan had to stop and put, you know, bunk down for the night because traveling through the night is particularly dangerous. It was a massacre. We had, we went in with 35 people and four wagons. Big wagons. 35 people, four wagons of supplies, enough horses to get us. All the way, all the way through, we were trying to make it to Kryn, but things didn't exactly work out that way. We left the temple that night with two wagons and twelve people. And three horses. At least that's what my grandmother says, but you know how old people are, you know. Oh, we were walking for forty days and forty nights. You got lost, Grandma. You know, who, who's to say? Who's to say? Um, but either way, what my grandmother told me was that the way that this caravan had managed to survive the slaughter from these infernal creatures was to make a pact. So now, I have an entire family full of sorcerers. Well, half a family of sorcerers. And the other half of us are tormented by the devils. It all depends on what side of the family the the blood came from. (laughs) So, uh, I wouldn't, I can't say that I can offer a really big reward, but I could use some help in... I, I could use some help in getting these devils off of my bloodline. Large I've got rewards grandkids are not coming. necessary. We Dispensing can, justice is its own reward. We can absolutely help. And as you said, you have rooms available for Let that hmm? we might be able to stay in? Well, if you're willing to go on this quest you would be considered more friends of the family. So, of course, I could give you a discount on the rooms. A modest discount. I require no large reward for my good deeds. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now, um, in between sets, you see the big shiny guys talking to Charlotte. Are they, are they girls or guys? Well, one, well they're they armored. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're armored. They are heavily armored. <laughs> and you're a half elf, right? No, I'm a human. Oh, you're human. Yeah. Okay. Human. Human. 
So think like Brian of Tarth and another sturdy gal okay. in armor. Full armor. I'm trying to find if I can hit on you guys or not, but it sounds like it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but you hear them at the I, bar. I prefer to think of myself more money. as like, <laughs> I, I prefer to think of myself as looking more like, you know, Diana. <laughs> and I'm a really sturdy Brunhilde. Um, Wonder type. Woman? Okay. <laughs> like Gwendolyn Pierce. <laughs> yes. Who I have a huge crush on Gwendolyn okay. Pierce. I really do. Yeah, I was thinking maybe you guys like have like a Valkyrie thing going mm. on or something, you know? She yeah. definitely does. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so hot. I'm so. not hot. I <laughs> don't have the facial expressions well, to be you know, hot. Maybe, maybe that's a matter of opinion. <laughs> that's fair. That's very fair. Like I said, I've got a big crush on Gwendolyn Pierce. And, you know, not she many people go. She has resting butch face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, and you hear very sternly large monetary compensation is not necessary for my good deeds. Justice must be done. That's what you hear coming from that. the bar. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? I walk over. I say um, why are you turning down this deal? Insolent bard, do not tempt my ideals. Do you not need money to live? Only the barest, only the barest. I strive and thrive on only what I need. He has a point. <laughs> we do need <coughs> money to survive in this world. Food costs money. Yes, I mean, and I have a meager it. ration of food help. each day. You know my regimen. Yes, I am well aware of your regimen. Uh, thank you for your attempts at aid, sir. Um, my companion uh, tries to live a very uh, bare life. You seem to not be so inclined. I do appreciate a good meal. And As do I. <laughs> a soft bed. Of course. Decadent whelps. Are you maybe looking for companion? She in has Elvish, a companion. In, in Elvish, I say, a warm body to share that bed with is always nice, too. <laughs> in Elvish, I say, you know that I speak the high tongue as well. Well, that wasn't exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't turn down a good offer. <laughs> <laughs> well, <coughs> as you guys are having this banter, Charlotte um, goes back to tend to the bar um, because she is running a business and all that stuff. And she then looks over at um, she then looks over at Figus, saying, um, "You still have um, you still owe me another twenty minutes on stage." <laughs> Just reminding you of that <coughs> as she's. Slicing bread. You'll get it. Don't with worry. precision. Lots and lots of precision. I'm a little parched, though. Hmm? Um, as you say that, um, as you say that, um, one of the, one of the young, young men that work at the bar comes up and brings you a flagon of water. This isn't beer. <laughs> no. No, it isn't. <laughs> and he goes and, and finishes um, um his he goes and s tends to other tables. I drink it. I guess I go back to the stage. So, um, so Figus goes back to the stage, and starts playing the tune. Uh, make a performance check. So, 14. 14 yeah. 
Okay. And your song isn't as good as the last one. You know you can do better, but that's okay. Should be a beer. <laughs> that's okay. Um, so, um, after close down happens, um, you know, you guys close out the bar, um, and Charlotte comes up to the two of you. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know what class of devils these are. I don't know where they come from. Grandma was always a little bit vague on that. You know, and sh when, when we lost her, it wasn't pretty. She was saying stuff about blessed maces and bird baths and yeah, she, she wasn't quite right when she left. Um, however, um, what I can tell you is that the temple in and of itself is about three days ride outside of Ravenswood. It's, it's three days ride to the north and the woods are perilous, but Ravenswood does have a covenant with the dwellers within the woods. So there'll be some safe passage. Um, you'll be safe from a lot of wild animals, but can't guarantee anything about raiders or anything like that. But we'll give you what we can um, upon your return if you survive this. Is that sounding acceptable? Can you give us some rations to go into the woods with? Oh, of course, of course. Like, if you're going to help out my family, I can't, I can't let you starve to death while you go. And this temple, you think that it would be the best place to start rather than uh, going to the family members that are sorcerers? It is where the covenant was made, and if... If the family members who have followed the path of sorcery and warlocks found out that I'm doing this, be it the curse of the devil or my own family members, I and my children are just as dead. I understand. Did these unearthly assailants leave behind any artifacts or residual material that they could be identified with? I couldn't tell you. I wasn't born when this happened. But I can say that from what I heard about legends, there is always some sort of marking, some sort of secret language or something. I, I never studied demonology. I, I run my bar. I go home. I don't bother anybody. I and then come the nightmares. And I'm concerned about my grandchildren. Well, I was going to ask if any of your family bore a mark. Have you ever seen anything in the dreams? I've seen many things in dreams. Many. And hopefully, all of those memories will be lost. Like tears in rain. Michael will give you um, the supplies that you need. But... I, I must be off. I, I really, I, I have to be off. It's it's time for my um. It's time for my offering to Umbau to. Or, um, Ubtau. Ubtau. Um, yes, my God. I mean, let's face it. Belief is one thing, but we all know that gods are real. Yes. Yes, yeah. indeed. As a follower, um, as a follower of Istashia, I would figure you guys would know that. Well, I knew it. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so you hear all this stuff. Are you going to, are you going to tag along, Vigus? Yeah, okay. Are you going to convince them to allow you to come along? Are you going to sneak? What, what's your plan? Um... Marathi? I already asked Marathi if I can tag along anyway. I'll just assume that I that she said yes, and I'm just gonna go up and say, hey, you guys ready? You leaving? Ah, uh, yes. I still don't understand why we need a second companion. Well, 
for the music. Oh, come on, who doesn't know who's Linda Carter? Music is sinful. Music is a way to give praise. Know you any hymns? Of course. Then you may come. Okay. I like this one better. I appreciate your honesty, and I like my companion better than I like you as well. And that's Shots not saying fired. very much. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so, um, so are you guys going to um, stay at the inn for the night, or are you going to be, um, are you going to stay at the inn for the night, take off in the morning, or are you going to set off now? I say we take off promptly. I really still want to try to find out if there are any uh, sigils that we can be prepared for at this temple. She said that nothing was left behind. But mm. she's been having dreams. <coughs> I, I really want to find out if anybody's been seeing images mm. here. But Gotta pay attention. I don't know if there's any other members Avenues. of her family? Well, certainly there are members of her family here, but I'm not sure if we can approach them without alerting them. It doesn't seem as such. She wouldn't even give us the information that we need. Why do you think that they would? It seems that she's the one with the least reluctance to ask for help on this. There must be some avenue that we haven't explored, though. Well... <coughs> And you guys are talking about that. And again, <coughs> um, Mike is sweeping up and putting stuff on the tables. And, um, you know, <coughs> he looks over. You know, I would figure a cleric or a bard would probably know something about this stuff. I mean, isn't it their job to learn mythology and things like that? No, no, no. you're right. <laughs> Let me think about it. Okay, um, it yeah, it's okay. always a d20. Um, make a roll and add your proficiency. Um, you're from the School of Lore, right? Mm, I think so. Yeah, which means, um, <coughs> um, do 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 It's an old thing called bardic knowledge. So add your proficiency to a d20, um, with your School of Lore thing. Okay. So, go ahead and make a roll. Actually, <laughs> no. Okay, um, yeah, so what you're finding... Ooh, that's fun. All right, so as you um, get the story, well, you have to ask them a few questions to get, um, to get more information from what they know. Okay. Okay, okay um... I remember that she was talking about the temple outside of town. It's yes. Three what? days to the north. Right. So, uh, and that her family line has been infected with demons, so they've become sorcerers. Okay. I didn't mm. agree all that, I think, on the first page. Um... So I just don't understand this. Like, so I'm trying to to, to get them to remember things. Mm -hmm. You're trying to get information from them. Okay. So you can work out. Um, think about it like this: as a bard, you went to college. Okay. You know a lot. Okay. So you know some stuff about devils. Okay. And you know some stuff like you know, some stuff you know a lot or a little bit about a lot of different things. Okay. So you're trying to narrow down. Um exactly what to think about okay okay um you nailed it you nailed it so of course um <clears throat> from the information that you get all right from the information that they give you mm -hmm. you recognize that there is a temple to belial okay. <laughs> um 
who's the archdemon prince of the fourth layer of the underworld um about the same amount of distance from the um from the town of ravenswood okay now here's the upside belial is a serious like he's lord of the fifth um um is he lord no he's ooh yeah hang on he's uh sorry yeah 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 here we go yeah rules the rules the realm of felagos um for those of you guys watching out there we have lord belial hello belial um do, do, do. hang on hang on uh-huh nope window and full screen boom there we go um belial um <coughs> rules a whole bunch of stuff halls of a thousand sites this guy is no joke <laughs> he's an arch devil <laughs> and being an arch devil um essentially a regular devil is something that you guys are not qualified to take individually okay. an arch devil yeah. is who creates and employs them but there is a temple about three days' ride north of Ravenswood. Okay. So I, I you know where they're going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> well, um. <laughs> so. I guess when her family goes bad, they go big. It sounds like it. Um, it seems more like an issue of geography. They were in the wrong place at the wrong time and should have known to travel around it. Who curses their ancestors like that, though? Well, I... It's something that her line has inherited for generations. Correct. Well, I assume they made some sort of pact, right? They made a pact to escape. And doom their ancestors. Should not offend you? It offends me deeply. The entire uh, thing offends me. The entire thing offends me. But, I mean... What was her name again? Lady Muriel. Muriel. Lady Muriel. I'm with Muriel on this one. Lady okay. Muriel. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Well, one way or another, we have to go there and do something. I agree. So, should we leave now? Yes. And maybe I can make a roll to see if I know any more, just to give us more of a boost on this. I have history and I have religion. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Tot which one should I roll? Whichever one is higher. <laughs> They're both the same. Okay, exactly. then, yeah, go so, ahead and pick one. I'll do... Uh, religion is one more for the demon. Okay, I'll do religion. Oh, wow, nat 20. Nat 20? Oh. Nat 20. Oh, noise. <laughs> yep, yep, that is most definitely a nat 20. All right. So, what I'm going to do is... Now, normally, you guys out there... For nat 20s or botches, I normally have the more advanced players of the system tell me what happened. Thank you, Satine Phoenix. Big shout out. Love Sirens of the Realm. Um, so, what you want to know about Belial? Belial is the power behind the throne of Philog um, <coughs> Phlegathos. Although his daughter is the ruler, um, sequestered away in the Hall of a Thousand Sighs and Screams, Belial advises his daughter in the arts of love and pain, taking a personal hand and ensuring that she learns all there is to know. <laughs> Up until now, the situation suited Fiamma, his daughter, just fine. But thanks to her flowering relationship with Glaza, she's become more interested in taking Flegos in more than just name. <laughs> so, she wants the place for herself. But thanks to her... Um, Sorry, um, but no longer is she con con content to sit idly by while her father makes the decisions. She wants to rule stuff on her own. Um, she's even cultivated a few cults on the prime material plane. 
that's where you guys are now. So, um, <coughs> Ferna's newfound ambition concerns Belial, but he has other worries. He's been assembling armies to invade the fifth and sixth layers. So that's some really that's some really interesting information you have. So um, should have had you guys bring out stuff to take notes. So um, what you got? So what you definitely remember from that is Belial is like the Grand Vizier of the fifth layer of hell. Mm -hmm. His daughter runs everything in name only. Mm -hmm. She's not pleased because she wants the power, so she's looking to usurp, and he's building an army to take the next level for his for himself. Okay. I recite this in very exact detail um, and uh, so it's not even certain if we are dealing with a cult of Belial or Ferna in this instance either way though we could use the animosity between them it seems that their house is in a very chaotic state right now All right, uh, any advantage can be exploited. Um, However, that may not be an <coughs> honorable thing, even if we are dealing with demons. Would the goddess forgive me if I used an unethical tactic against an unethical enemy? We can debate it on the way. Um... Let's see. Uh, what concerns me most is how to untangle them from our hostess's bloodline. I mean, it's not like we can even hope to truly vanquish an arch devil. Well, yes, there is that. But there has to be some way. Well, <clears throat> one, two, skip a few. Um, you guys pack up and you hit the road since you're leaving that night. Now, um, a couple of hours in, I'd like you guys, everybody that goes along with, um, to make a perception check, mm -hmm. or a wisdom check, rather. Can I do something? Um, what do you want to do? I want to try to charm... What's name again? Marathi. I'm going to try to charm Marathi into giving me her part of the money that, that she doesn't want anyway. In just, in just a couple of secs. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, make a perception check. Okay. Okay, so I got... Do you want to charm me into giving you Muriel's money? Yeah. I got 23 you know total. 23? <laughs> yes. Okay. I got a three, so, um... You got a three on your perception? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure that's a fail, too. Okay, and... I guess I got a 14. Okay. So, as you guys are, um, um, doing stuff for the watch, um, Figgis, mm. go ahead and roll your Charm Person check, which is a performance roll, plus your Charisma bonus. Okay. Um, and... Um, Marathi. Marathi. <laughs> I was going to call you Mariah. Um, <laughs> you actually get a... What is the save on that? Wisdom? It should say on Charm Person to spell. <coughs> 216, I believe. <clears throat> yes, page 216 of the book. Yes, page 216 in the book. Oh no, sorry. It's a uh, Sorry, page 221 in the book. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 So your attempt to charm a humanoid so you can see within it. Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
So what do I roll first? Is roll for you three. roll your performance. Okay. Um, and you're a bard, so it's your performance roll and add your charisma modifier. Okay. And your proficiency. So it's eleven plus die, right? Plus three. Uh, yeah. no. What is your What is your charisma proficiency? My charisma proficiency is plus four. Plus four for your charisma. Yeah. Okay. And then performance is plus seven. Plus seven. And then plus three for proficiency bonus. Okay, so four pl uh, 14 plus your die roll. Okay. <laughs> so this is eight. 14 plus 8, 23. 23 yeah. And what did you roll for the wisdom? Uh, wisdom save? I think I rolled a 12. Okay, you're totally charmed. Mm -hmm. um, so, hey, since duration. she doesn't seem to want it anyway, you think I could, since I'm helping you guys, you think you could give me the potion just in the throw away? Throw in a, a night with big Oh, you had me at hello. I'll totally give you her money. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knew this guy. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, don't lean your body over so sorry. hard you're falling off screen. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, doing what I can, but you know, yeah, you're still falling off screen. Okay, so for those of you guys that made your, um, sorry, um, Lady um, Stickus Up Buttis um, is the only one that made the that made the perception check. Um, they're talking about something. They're talking about something, mm -hmm. and you hear a very, 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 very slight rustling in the bushes. Okay. And um, you kind of hear like a slight rustling, and then a snap of a thing, like a snap of a um snap of a twig mm -hmm. and then whispering okay um I stand up and draw my sword um mace or you it's a sword you I have, have a, sword? a long sword oh okay you have a long sword that's yeah. new <laughs> okay so yeah you stand up and you totally draw your sword mm -hmm. and I search the bushes you don't tell us what we're doing Nope. Yeah, no, you got, um, sorry, well, you do guys I are notice, doing flirting and do, all that Do stuff. I notice my partner standing up? Nope. You are totally enthralled by this musician that's talking to you about, um... Stealing so her yeah, money. Like, Stealing something, yeah. <laughs> like, the way we do, like, tighten the string, like, it, it creates, like, the vibrations in the, in the, 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 the chamber and the, I don't know how to explain it. Okay. And I'm assuming that you're going to go over to the, go over to the noise? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you get the rustling, and as you, as you hit the rustling, isn't this fun? Tee hee, tee hee, a tee hee. Um, what you find is, well, what, what is it that you're going to say? Like, you, you, there's a rustling, are you sneaking up, are you going to make your presence super known? I mean, what do you got? Um, what's the goddess that I worship again? <laughs> Ish something? Yes. Uh, your goddess's name is Ishbo? Hmm? Ish. Estesia. 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 Okay. Estesia. Yes. God, uh, it's the god of water, purification, and wetness. Okay. Um, I say the goddess of being moist. In in Astitia's name, make your motives clear or face the dire consequences. And I have my sword raised very high. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah by Mordain's hammer <clears throat> And you see a dwarf in robes. <laughs> okay. You know. And he makes um he essentially um he essentially looks over and he's like ah 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 and you can see that he's been shocked out of prayer. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's been shocked out of prayer. Um and he looks up and he sees like you with the long sword. <laughs> mm hmm yeah. Ah by by more by more Dan's hammer will be made whole. Oh, I 
perhaps had the wrong impression. I see that you are doing your daily ritual to your god. I did not mean to interrupt. What business is it of yours to be in this part of the woods? Ah! I was looking for the town of Ravenswood. I heard they had a problem with a temple. <laughs> oh, yes. That is actually the quest that myself and my companion and some new bard that we found in town were actually imparting upon ourselves. Well, that's fair. <laughs> I figure I go to this temple, I knock down a few walls, maybe I brew up uh, brew up something here or there, and maybe I can help this barmaiden. And what be your trade, sir? I'm cleric of Mordain. A cleric? Aye. Uh, would you like to meet my companions? Perhaps we could do with another hand. I suppose, uh, I suppose, from what I hear, taking on, taking on demons and things aren't exactly something that someone should do by themselves. Ah, that's good. But this is my first outing ever since joining the clergy. I came here, I came here from the, from the jeweler's guild. I was a good brewer too. <laughs> that certainly would be something that my companions would find useful. Now, I don't have much to offer myself. However, some of the reward that I was promised, I can give to you. I was not intending to keep any monetary gain for this. Well, fair enough. Uh, temp uh, uh, huh? Uh, they're in the bushes, right? They're, they're like they're, um, these guys are actually walking back okay. while you got... Uh, yeah. yeah, you guys are, you guys are like, your charmed person spell mm -hmm. lasts an hour. Okay. So you guys are, you know, you're doing your bard thing. <laughs> Tell me more about your liar. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I was just telling jokes for you, baby. Ah. <laughs> uh, it's called la well, la 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 la. <laughs> uh, considering the temple always needs upgrades, there's always a spire that's fallen or pews that need to be resanded and things like that. Uh, that's one thing. I'm, I'm guessing they made me take the vow of chastity, um, particularly because if I were to keep any money for myself, the damn church would fall. <laughs> well, <laughs> I certainly sympathize for the woes of your church. Uh, what be your name, good sir? Oh, my name is Clarence Longhammer. Clarence Longhammer. I am Lady Muriel of Riggins. Muriel? I think I know a song about it. I heard a poem or something about that. I don't know. I'll find a bard eventually. <laughs> well, Hopefully yeah. not a crusty limerick. I have <laughs> great disdain for those. Oh, nay, nay, nay. It's a love ballad of regret and remorse. <laughs> ah. So, this, uh, your campfire... So, how is it that you're spending the night here with a fire going and not being attacked by animals? <laughs> well, it appears that we have some protection from the house of the person who imparted this quest on us. Ah, the barmaiden! Yes, Fair indeed. enough, fair enough. So, well, if we're all working for the same person, can you fill me in? <laughs> well, I know that we're up against, uh... I forgot the demon's name already. Belial? Belial, and possibly a cult of Ferna. I recognize that there has been great turmoil within their house for many an age, and I believe that this curse may somehow be related to that. Well, sounds to me like a simple job. <laughs> I mean, hell. <laughs> Hang on. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. No, sounds like a simple job. Um, sounds like a simple job. I can say that much. 
So, we go in, we knock down a few walls, we defile a temple, and then we run, we run away. Sounds good. <laughs> Let's not forget the part where we run through the evildoers and ah. send them to their horrid maker. Smiting. Yeah, smiting is always good. <laughs> Big fan of smiting. Indeed. And are these your companions? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, indeed they are. This is Marathi. I say greetings in Dwarvish. Ah, just call him a hammer. <laughs> and this guy you found in the bushes. <laughs> this is the right cleric, Clarence Longhammer. Another cleric? We are not clerics. You're not? No, fool. We are <laughs> paladins. Oh, I can't tell you really describes me. <laughs> yeah. I swing a sword for my goddess. I like or this one. <laughs> God. <laughs> and I kick ass I'm for my lord and beer. <laughs> <laughs> it might be with the we'll see. <laughs> Wait, it looks like we have some. Uh, it looks like we have someone who knows a bit of lore here. So can you tell me what's going on? This one is saying a lot about smiting, and smiting is good. I like banging down walls, smiting bad guys, and drinking heavily. <laughs> and I like all but the third one. <laughs> <laughs> this one seems fun. Mm -hmm. Well, well, you Smiting realize the there's going to be a great deal of violence within this quest, but it's all going to be against those who purvey injustice. So it is all going to be... Holy violence. Holy violence. Designated violence. Righteous violence. <laughs> Inebriated violence. <laughs> I like that one. Dwarves <laughs> drink it's, well, I know. his his goddess or his god is the god of jeweling, smithing, and ale. Brewing. Yes. He, he's a brewer. So. <clears throat> okay. So. Mm hmm. I'm trying to find out something more than we know, right? What do you mean? You want me to use uh, what's it? Move arcane. What is it? What's it called? Oh, um, with your bardic knowledge roll. Yeah. Um, you essentially got everything on that sheet that I didn't tell them. Oh, for Belial? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So at any so at any point you can be that guy. Since you wrote up that guy, you can be that guy that's like, actually. <laughs> so yeah. I should have picked something up earlier. I really got stuck this one. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, like I said, we're gonna get through that. The most important thing is this is a very important lesson for you new players out there. Um. Bards do have a lot of reading, but here's the number one thing, Quinjin. I see a lot of worry on you. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't worry. Um, um, think about your improvisational skills. Know that as a GM, I only read half that page. I was going to say I knew something about the monsters that we're going to face. Does that um, make sense? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to roll for that. Hmm? No, that's something okay. I'll do. Okay, well, Again, that's what I was gonna say. That's what I was asking. Like, hmm? Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, I didn't understand the I question you were asking. Yeah, yeah. I I exactly. Okay, well, that's what I, I. I think I might know a thing or two about what we're gonna face because there's not enough fighting. For yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, Eighteen plus. This dice is awesome. <laughs> 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 Uh, 18 plus 3 plus... Is it performance? No, it's not performance. No, it would be lore. Lore. Okay. Um, do you have lore? If not, it would be an intelligence roll. Okay, so... Um, plus 1... Is it proficiency? No. Yeah, yeah, okay. you can use your proficiency okay. pretty much with any roll. So it's plus 4, 18 plus 4. Okay, it's 22. It's 22. Yeah. All right. Um, so the bard informs you that based on... Based on the normal <coughs> stuff that's around here... Um, some of the stuff that we would be facing in the forest, at least according to legend, would be um, wolves and various rats, like various sizes of rats. But this place seems to be frighteningly low on those things. <laughs> um, but once we get to the temple, essentially um, what your bardic knowledge would tell you is that 
um, demons and devils and stuff tends to have minions. <laughs> okay. And the minions are generally humanoid. As far as Belial goes, they'll pr they'll, they will probably be humans and possibly dark elves. Is any of these the attack count of creatures or no? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, uh, any other questions? Um, Aren't you afraid of R.O.U.S.'s? Rodents of unusual size? <laughs> I don't think they exist. <laughs> okay. I don't know what you keep doing now. All right. Thank you. Well, then, <laughs> since we're here after dark, um, about how long is it to the temple from the town? <laughs> Two more days, I believe. Ah, Two days in the woods with good companions. Well then, I have myself a skin. You have your stories. So I say, we get some sleep and start off for a fresh start tomorrow. I'll take first watch. I can see in the dark. And second. But, you know, I'd rather go to sleep. <laughs> Why not go for all three? Are you sure that would be wise? <clears throat> I do not believe it would be wise. Sleep is a sinful indulgence. However, it is necessary. I was kidding anyway. <laughs> okay. And with that, kids, we are going to take a ten-minute break um, for bathroom and all that stuff because we are human. And um, with that, again, this is at the one hour mark. So we, we take little breaks during the games. And um, this is just to make absolutely sure that, you know, we still take care of ourselves because this is a game, but it's also a major thing that we like doing. So we're going to take a quick break and talk to you guys in about 10 minutes. OK, thank you guys. And we'll see you guys at the next segment. And we are back. How you guys doing again? Uh, like I said a little bit earlier, I'm Solar Gray, the Cinematic Sorcerer, and welcome back to the weekly one shot. So Ooh. we are in the middle of our first edition game, or our fifth edition game. And for those of you guys that are wondering where we are, it's very simple. We've got one bard, two paladins, and a cleric in the woods outside looking for a temple of Belial <laughs> outside of the town of Ravenswood. So uh, they can essentially raise a family curse on a fantastically buxom barkeep. So <clears throat> as we were saying, um, the next morning comes around. Um, boop, boop, boop. Darn. Yes, the next morning comes around. Um, the sun also rises. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just take a look over at MP City. We've got the Geeks Meow saying, hey, everything is better with a bard. Isn't that fun? <laughs> so, um, morning comes around. <coughs> and you guys <clears throat> decide to go <clears throat> due north. Traveling north. <laughs> yes, traveling due north. Do you have any skills that like uh, raise like the party's um, <clears throat> general? Let me see your sheet. <laughs> you mean to raise their general spirits <clears throat> and their mood? Yeah. Um. Nope. Okay. Ooh, but man, yeah, vicious mockery, charm, person, fairy fire, healing word. That is awesome. All of that stuff is just plain awesome. So I'm mm. gonna play. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna charm them all. Do I have to roll for each one of them? Um, is charm person is a first level spell. Okay. I would recommend. Oh yeah, I gotta save the. Spell <coughs> I would there. recommend saving your spell slots okay. for How the day. Huh? <coughs> um, <coughs> for a bard. <coughs> do 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 do. Um, <coughs> for a bard, your spell slots are mentioned in the bard class. Um, which is here. I'm going to cast um, Minor Illusion to make sparkles yeah, appear uh, around my head so I look cuter. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, 
spells known, spell slots per spell level. You have two first level spells that you can cast in a day. Um, and oh, nothing okay. else. <laughs> one more, okay. Yeah. So. Oh, no, 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 you've rested. Yeah. You've okay. rested. Um, so I'm going to use a cantrip. I'm going to use Minor Illusion. And okay. I'm going to um, make, make, make myself look like my sparkle. I'm going to play music. Oh, okay. So I can chant it. Yeah, yeah, you okay. you you want to give yourself um, you want to give yourself a little stage presence yeah, exactly. as you walk so through the woods. Okay, d20, right? Yep, yep. Just okay. roll d20. Nope. Again. I got a three. Huh? <laughs> yeah, no. Sorry. <laughs> um, so. Um, hmm? <laughs> no, 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 no. That would be like a one. Yeah, that that, that, <laughs> that, that would be a botch. <laughs> um, right, little fart clouds that say I smell bad and you don't like Should it. Should I roll performance or just <laughs> Huh? Um, that is um, that is your spell. All of your spells <coughs> are performance plus oh, your okay. charisma bonus plus your proficiency okay, bonus. So it was low. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. So, um, do do do. Like, um, what was the total? Because okay. all of your bonuses, I recall, equal seven. Twelve. 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 Yeah. Twelve total. Yeah. No. No. Okay. no. Um. All right. So. <coughs> um. So as you guys are going, and tee hee tee hee. I've got so much good news for you guys. It is amazing. Um, as you guys are going through the woods, um, let's see here. I'm going to, um, I want people to roll their perception. Four. Hmm? Four. Four. So perception, you add what? Wisdom. Wisdom? Okay. So it's just four. 20 total. Okay. Twenty-three total. Okay. <laughs> I just have really high wisdom, so even when I get bad rolls, I still. That's the way it works. Well, wait. What is your um wisdom bonus? Uh, plus one. Plus one. Okay. Yeah. yeah and so. I have a wisdom of thirteen already. So. Um, you only add the proficiency no or you only add the bonus number. Right. When you roll the check, so. Okay. It so is. the plus one. Not the 13. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I only got 10 then. 10? Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds more like it. And what did you get, uh, Vixen? Still 20 total. Okay. Um, well, <clears throat> um, oh, and my guy. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Thank you. Um, so, um, Mariah. <coughs> um, Marati. Sorry, Marati. You have noticed that where you guys have come across, um, it's a little darker in the forest than they're generally, um, than it has. You've come under a really, really deep canopy. And underneath that canopy, you've noticed um, where you guys are right now um, seems to have more spider webs in the trees than you're used to seeing. I don't like these woods. Aren't these woods so pretty? What don't you like about these woods? What makes them worse woods than the last woods that we traversed through? Haven't you noticed in the canopy how thick it is? The no, webbing? Now that they're talking about it. Well, as you guys look up, um, as you guys look up, you notice, yeah, there it's almost as dark as night. Um, the cleric, <coughs> you know, long hammer. Mm, this seems to be a bit unnaturally foul. Last time I was here, there. Uh, last time I was in a place like this, it was underground in the caverns. Ah, uh, guess we should beware of bats and other things that go in the dark. Very well. I suppose I should bless my sword. Um, <clears throat> can I uh, do a knowledge check uh, religion or history to try to see if I can figure out what kind of creatures might be in this area? Um, history or religion, not very good for figuring out what creatures would be in a forest. I might know something about that. Hmm? Okay, you're looking to make a bardic knowledge roll? Yeah. Okay, go for it. <coughs> 14 plus 3. Oh, dear God. Um, yeah, 17. Yeah, 
You recall um, while you were playing at the tavern, people talking about the covenant with the spiders and um, the spiders and whatever the things that live in the catacombs are. Um, so you're pretty much able to suss out that there is, um, if, well, <laughs> it's math time, kids. If there are, um, this town has a covenant with spiders and dry, and, um, driders. Then you should be kind of okay, right? Hmm? Then what? it's sort of safe, or? Well, that there would be a whole bunch of spider-type creatures in the woods surrounding the town. Oh, okay, that doesn't mean that, but this, we're working for the family, or would they, would they attack us, or? You wouldn't know. Well, I tell them about, there's lots of spiders, and, and uh, remember that they were talking about that when they told me about the, the quest. Oh. I overheard it when I was playing. Oh, and the the covenant with the creatures that live out in the woods, the, the things that are part spider, part person. Yes. The driders. Yes. Very well, then. What should we do about this? Well, we're traveling under the protection of the barkeep. Do we have anything to prove that? Did she uh, give us could, anything? They could have. They could have <coughs> given. A, they could have given you some sort of sigil or some sort of marking. Seriously, some sort of writ. They didn't, though. Did they give you one? I never made it to the town. <laughs> oh, that's right. I ran into you outside the woods. What about you, Bard? You were there longer than them. we were. Did they give me anything? Uh, no, you were working as a musician. I get that. So, um, technically, yeah, they, they didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they didn't. They didn't bargain with you on this quest. Okay. Can I? If we run into stuff, can I? Do I know enough about them to bullshit? Um, clarify the question. If we run into some, some they're dryads, right? Hmm? Driders. Driders, the spi spider. Mm -hmm. Okay, if we run into driders, they, they're, like, can I talk to them and try to bullshit them into thinking that they... Do I know that enough about the, the family to convince them that, that, that we're special people to them or something like that? That would require a performance role when it happens. Okay, fine. Well, just for when it happens. Hmm? For when it happens. So there are ways. Okay. Hmm. Um. So, um, twenty-two perception roll. You do hear a skittering. I draw my long sword. <laughs> and, um, as an action, I, you, I, I use sacred weapon. So as an action, I imbue my weapon uh, with positive energy. Okay. Can I do another perception roll? And I do I the same. Vision? You have sacred weapon too? Wait, is this I something actually useful? Wait. <coughs> do I have to use dark vision? Or yes, do you do. Yes. Oh, um, dark vision is a passive skill. It's a, it's a passive skill. Yeah. And as the GM, I'll let you know, like, okay. uh, it'll be one of those things where I'll be like, make a perception roll. It's Those of you that can see in the dark, okay. blah. <laughs> okay. Cool. I just wasn't sure how it worked. Mm -hmm. I get that. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so. Um, <clears throat> so we're both doing the sacred weapon thing. Okay, all right. Um, do, 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 sacred weapon. It's just an action. You turn it on. It's all good. Um, well, I take out my ring from the room. Hmm? Okay. So you guys are getting on some tea. Or actually, um, can I, I take out the cross thing. Okay. Yeah. At least so, preparing. All right. And so in the skittering, <laughs> um, in the skittering, down in front of the cleric drops a giant spider. Ah! <laughs> Says the cleric. <laughs> so, um, you guys hear the cleric. Ah! <laughs> Don't do that! And, um, quick call. What languages do you guys speak? 
Uh, common, dwarvish, and elvish. I speak elvish, halfling, common. Mm -hmm. I speak common, dwarvish, and elvish. Okay. So, had I known all of that, this entire episode would have been in dwarven. Um, so, um, and the dwarf actually lets out um, a prof um, an expletive in dwarven. Um, and the spider kind of chitters. Well, that's rude. Can we understand the spider? Or? Yes, the okay. spider is actually speaking in dwarvish. Okay. Mm. In dwarvish, I say, We are on a quest from Ravenwood. Do Bottom not up. attack us. I, I can't. Hmm? I can't speak Dwarvish. You can't speak Dwarvish? No, it was Elvish, Halfling, and Common. Oh, okay. <laughs> I say, do you approach friendly? Mmm. <laughs> ah, uh, chitter, 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 chitter. And the spider, um, makes its way over to the bard. Chitter, chitter. How's it going? Can you I speak the common tongue. I, I do. Why are you violating the covenant? The covenant has not been violated when questioning is being done. That's true. The spider is now speaking in common. Okay. I come to you. For you lack holy symbols. Well, you've got lots of holy symbols. Yes. Fanatics are problems. You know what? I agree with you there. What is your reasoning for being in the woods of ravens? We're working for our family. I don't recognize you, nor does the brood of the webs. We're cousins from uh, nearby land. Make a deception or performance check. Okay, I'll do performance check. <laughs> okay, so 16 plus um, persuasion? Yeah. Okay, so 17, 18, 20... 23? Mm -hmm. 16, yeah. Okay. <coughs> and what business do the denizens of the Raven's Wood have in the Wood of Ravens? We are going to the Temple of Belial to fix the family curse. You are going to defile the dark place. to make a bargain. You're going to bargain with holy people. That is an unacceptable means and reason. Roll initiative, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's whatever we roll plus what? Hmm? Uh, your dex uh, modifier. Okay. Oh, that sucks. Because <laughs> my dex modifier is in minus. 14. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so is mine. 13. <coughs> yep. <laughs> Woo! Nat 20. Uh, Let it be known. Minus 1. Uh, 19. Let it be known, kids, that sometimes honesty is the best policy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what are the numbers? 19. 13. Of course. I'm just going to... Thirteen? Thirteen. Jen? Um, Queen Jen? Oh, I got fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, so. <clears throat> what about our dwarvish friend? Hmm? Oh, he, <laughs> he ended up getting eight. <laughs> now, um, they are a hero. All right. So, um. All right, so what were the numbers again? 
13, 14. 19, 14. 19, 13, 14. Okay, cool. Uh, 19, go for it. Okay. Well, what are you doing? Oh, uh, <laughs> I am... I guess I'm swinging on the drider. Um, it wasn't. Dr it's not a drider. Oh, it's a giant spider. I am swinging on the giant spider. Okay. With my longsword. Slow down, I'll sing the river. Okay, what did you get? Uh, that's only a nine. A nine. Okay, that is a miss. Okay, um, go for it. Actually, Number, uh, yeah, go for it, Bard. Okay, um, so a bonus action is something I do as well as attack, right? Yes. Okay, so I am going to, um, am I, am I close to her? Hmm? Am I close to, to the... Yes. The slutty paladin? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to, um... Use uh, my I have my my crossbow out already, so I can just fire it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot out of the crossbow, and I'm also going to um I'm also going to to like belittle it. Mm -hmm. so okay, so you're um so you're gonna you're gonna use a bonus action to um to use your cantrip of. I'm gonna use cutting words. Cutting words, okay. Let's hear them. That's a reaction. Is that not something I can do now? Hmm? It's a reaction action. Is that the wrong kind of thing? <coughs> um, I'm going to need you to ask questions in complete sentences. That's so. fine. So on the piece of paper, it says reactions, cutting words. Okay. Is that not – when do you use reaction? Um, you, can use, uh, you can use reaction in reaction to something that's happening. So um, I will allow you to use the bonus action um, – to use cutting words as a reaction to her, um, to her whiffing on the my miss. Yeah, to okay. the miss. But I, I don't see how that. How could you miss it. such a slow creature? Are yeah. you using cutting words yeah. on the paladin no, or I'm on the creature? On, no, I'm using it on the creature. I'm so you have to figure <laughs> out a way to make it. Well, that was that was to make them both feel better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can. Uh, okay. Um. Uh. What is that thing made of jelly? You just bounced right off of it. All right, uh, make a wisdom save. Wait, no, that was supposed to be for the spider again. I'm just not doing this right. Okay, <laughs> you said you're going hey, to you use it on both. Hey, you ugly piece of shit spider, you suck. Okay. <laughs> Language. <Okay>. And, and <laughs> yes, hey, you piece of crap spider, boy, you suck. That works. You smell of dung. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. 20. You roll a nat 20? I roll a nat 20. Okay. Um, that was on the cutting words thing? No, that was on, or I guess it was on the, yeah, I guess it was on the cutting words thing. Okay, so, oh yeah, okay. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and go ahead and roll your shot. Okay. Um, 11, and... Dex bonus? Dex bonus is 3, so 14. 14, okay. And damage is? Damage on your crossbow? Damage is plus six to hit, 1d6 plus three. Okay, so go ahead and roll 1d6 plus three. So that's a regular roll, die. Roll oh, six a sided. regular yeah. six-sided die and add three. Okay, but then it's plus six as well, hmm? right? No, it's plus, oh, no, it's six, plus to six to hit. Oh, no, plus six to hit. Okay, so yeah. definitely hit. Okay, so what? three So plus six points of damage. Yeah, six points of damage, yeah. Okay, yep, yep, yep. All right, cool. All right. <coughs> um, now, um, Paladin? Yes. I am going to attack furiously. Okay. With your longsword, I With assume? With my longsword. Uh, okay. So I got 14 plus what? Hmm? What's 14 plus your dex bonus. Uh, okay, so 13. And what is your sword bonus to hit? Um, uh, don't it, forget the sacred weapon plus three. Oh, right. So there's a plus three from Sacred Weapon Jeez. and uh, plus five for the two hit. <laughs> oh, jeez. So then, let's see, uh, so 18, don't 19, worry. 20, 21. You hit. Okay. 
I hit. Yeah, th- you you really hit. Well, even if the bard hadn't done what the bard did, you would have hit. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, and what's the damage? Uh, that's one d eight. Probably one d eight plus three. Yeah. Yeah. Any so other bonuses for the holy thing? Oh wow, Yucko. Uh, so I only uh, did. Sacred weapon doesn't give any bonuses to the damage. damage. Okay. Yeah. I only did four damage okay. total. All right. So cool. I hit it really directly, and I was yelling, and well, I it's didn't got hit natural it. Directly. It was a surgical hit. Yeah, it's okay. got natural armor, so it's one of those things. All right. <coughs> so, the spider. Um, then attacks. What is the bard's armor class? Hmm? Armor class is 15. 15 is not terrible. Good, then. Alright, so. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's gonna. Uh, yeah, it's gotta. It's gotta do that. Alright, so. Mm hmm. For real? Hang on, hang on. Uh huh, plus five. Nope. Um, rolled a 10. Alright. Now it's the now it's the clerics thing. <laughs> yeah, it's Warhammer time. What are you cutting words to do? Did it make it less less strong or less? It probably lowered okay. the lowered well, the armor. Well, let's um. Well, it says, it says I can do okay. So cutting words subtract. So okay, use the bark inspiration die. To, oh, so I should have done that. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Do you want me to roll that now? No, 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 no. Okay. Just keep reading out loud. It's already Use happened. the Bardic Inspiration die to subtract from a creature's attack roll, ability check, or damage roll. So I should have picked one. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, I guess, I guess damage roll is, do you want to pick it because I didn't? Well, attack would be the best. Okay. So Let's call it attack since it already missed. That's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, so. Um, if it doesn't hit, it can't hurt. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, now, as I was saying, yep, 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 that's the whole thing. So, yeah, Warhammer time. Um, the dwarf, mm-hmm, uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, that's it. Isn't that fun? So, um, what does the Warhammer do? 1d8 plus 2 bludgeoning damage. Uh, somebody hand me a d8, please. Hopefully we have better luck with it. Oh, it yeah. Did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, that's a uh, ten. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, but um, and now we um go back over. Hello, number one. All righty, um, so swinging on the spider again. Mm-hmm. Remembering to give myself the plus three bonus for the sacred weapon because I forgot that last time. Mm-hmm. Um, better. Uh, Total. Nine and eight, seventeen. Does hit. 17 hit? Yep, 17, 17 hits. hits. Okay, so that is a D8. D8 plus 3 for damage. Now, for the record, the giant spider's um, armor class, kids, is 14. <laughs> Meter beat 14. So 6 points of damage. 6? Mm-hmm. All right, uh, let's see. 10 plus 2 plus me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And, um, all right, and finally, I thought that, yes, actually, finally, um, that goes straight to okay, Bard. So, what's still, like, is the thing still alive? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, it, it's going. Um, okay, so, um, Okay, so actually, I can use cutting words whenever a creature does anything mm-hmm. I can see. So I, What's the fine. duration of cutting words? How long does it last? Uh, when a creature, okay, okay, when a creature uh, that you can see within sixty feet of you makes an attack roll, an ability check or a damage roll, you can use your reaction to expend one of your uses of bardic inspiration. How many times can I use bardic inspiration? Um, you're level two? one. Yeah, twice a day. Okay, so I have it one more time. Okay, so roll a bardic inspiration die, subtract the number of rolls for the creature's roll. You can choose to use this feature after the creature makes its roll, but before the DM determines whether your attack roll or ability check succeeds or fails, or before the creature deals its damage. The mm-hmm. creature is immune if it can't hear you, or it is immune to being charmed. Okay, so... Um, 
I don't want to use it again, I guess. So I am going to use. Um, how far is it from me now? Hmm? Is it like right up next to me? Oh yeah, it's within okay. five feet of all you guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack it with my rapier. Okay. So and that's a stabbing wound. Okay, so that's your dex plus your d20. And it has piercing damage. Yeah, right? plus your proficiency. So. So. 13, 16, so I hit. Yep, that's a hit. Damage? Damage is... I believe it's 1d6 plus 2. Plus 6. Oh, no, that was for hit. Okay, uh, so yeah, it's 1d8 plus 3. Oh, 1d8 plus 3. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, roll it. Yes. I got a 6. Okay, that's 7, 8, 9. Okay. Attack for 9. Yeah. All right. And... This thing is just hurting now. It's like, oh, ah, ah, ah. Unfortunately, it's not its turn to act. <laughs> okay, so I am swinging again. Uh, okay, so that plus three. Nine plus your dex plus um, the bonus from the sword. Right, plus the bonus from uh, sacred weapon. So, so uh, nine plus ten. Nine plus five to hit. 13. Plus eight. Plus eight. Is it more than 14? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, then you yes. hit. Okay. <laughs> um, and what's your damage? Um, hopefully better than last time. Uh, it is. Six. Not much, but uh, I've got six. Actually, it's quite a bit better than last plus time. Plus three, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, plus I, I added six total. Oh, okay. Six total. Yeah. <coughs> okay. And this thing splats and just squirts. Just okay. You slash it. And on its last thing, you kind of slash between its eye, um, it, its eye thing, and one of its little mandibles, <laughs> mm -hmm. and yeah, you get <laughs> all over you because it's it's yeah, you definitely got the killing blow. Um, okay. <clears throat> so yeah, that. Good job, prudent maiden. <laughs> Congratulations. And I'm kind of like really uh, panting heavily and and. You can tell that I, I s enjoyed that. On She's a very excited. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and from the trees, you guys hear, Skilled as you are, to coven with Belial and his ilk is still evil. Well, I was kind of lying to you. Right you they thought that we were covened with Belial? Yeah, I would I never said. do that. Look, there were giant spiders. What was I supposed to do? I was about to, you know, make brown in my pant in pantaloons, you know? <laughs> the dwarf looks over at the bard, shakes his head, shake wipes off buddy. his warhammer, <laughs> and starts walking toward the temple. Uh... We're really sorry that we killed your friend, apparently. Remunerations will be met. Take it up with the bard. <laughs> we'll see that later. Maybe another lifetime. All right, so. <clears throat> All right. Um, so you guys make it through the next night with no, um, with no problems, okay? Um, <clears throat> as you get to the clearing, mid-afternoon, um, <clears throat> you see a giant, ornate stone ruin. Okay. There are columns, there are spires, <clears throat> um... And, of course, there's a staircase leading up to a door. So think like the Capitol building in Washington. This looks like a temple. This most likely is the temple. It sure so, is. So, uh... I'm very certain of it. Ah. Uh, I understand that people worship what they worship, but why is it that the evil ones always get the bigger buildings? Uh, can I do turn unholy at the door? Hmm? Uh, as an action, I present my holy symbol and 
speak a prayer censuring fiends and undead and each fiend or undead that can hear me within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw DC 13 you can feel free to do that if you want okay um, I'm going to approach the door and do that <coughs> okay uh, go ahead and make your roll and you know um, yeah Go ahead and make your roll, and show me the roll. So mm. make your R-O-L-L, -L, but I'd like to see it R-O-L-E. Indeed. Okay. It doesn't say that I have to make a, a roll roll, but... What does it say? Uh, as an action, mm -hmm. I present my holy symbol... And speak a prayer, censuring fiends and undead. Okay, go ahead. Say your holy prayer. Okay. Hmm? What's my God's name again? Hmm? Please. Out of here. Is it Ish Tal? Hmm? It's Ish something. Or I-S-T-I. I-S-T-I. Ish-T. Isticia. 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 Yes, Isticia. Okay, so I God walk of up... water and purification. <laughs> I walk up to the door, <laughs> and I draw my sword, and I, I hold it kind of like a cross, and I say, Oh, Isticia, give me strength that I might vanquish the foe that has made this place unpure and purify this land in your name. And uh, I am rubber, you are glue. Everything you say bounces off of me and sticks to you. <laughs> okay. And as you um as you say that prayer, mm -hmm. you can feel yourself filling with with faith and inner strength. And it is just as quiet as it was when you walked up to the door. Yes. Um. Okay. My vicious mockery on the door kind of creature, right? Correct. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so what's psychic damage? Hmm. What's psychic damage? Um, psychic damage is damage. Um, it doesn't manifest itself physically. Okay. Okay. But it does, um, it reduces things like initiative. It, it takes away from, um, wisdom and intelligence. I can do that instantaneously whenever the hell I want. Just leave. Hmm? It seems I can do that whenever I want. Do tell. Um, vicious mockery is instantaneous. It's a cantrip. Mm-hmm. So I can do it on my turn. Anyway. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But I can do it as many times as, as I want, I guess. And yes. It does one D4 psychic damage. Mm-hmm. And um, also messes with. Okay, it's, it must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Or okay, so if it succeeds, it doesn't happen. But if it doesn't, it gets one one d four of psychic damage mm -hmm. and has disadvantage on the next attack roll. Yes. It makes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Is that an action? Or so if I did that, it would be like using a spell. It's the only thing I could do, correct? Um, can't you do it as a reaction bonus action? It's not vicious mockery. It's something similar. It's something that actually takes my bark inspiration and flips it around. Okay. So I can only do that twice. That is correct. So this one will be an action. Okay. I just wanted to clarify before we get into this. Yeah. Uh, and so, okay. um, all right. That was a good idea. Here's one from mine. And he walks up and... Um, he takes out his hammer and he knocks the door down. <laughs> ah! That's one way to do it. I like the way this little man did. Well, I wasn't trying to open the door. I, I was just trying to make sure that there was nothing behind it. Well, if there was, now there's something under it. <laughs> and, he and he walks through. Who follows? I do. I follow. Okay, everyone follows. Um, <clears throat> you guys walk into the temple. 
And it's interesting because there are no torches. Like the torches are out. But make a perception check. Wisdom. Okay. Okay. Sixteen. Uh, mm-hmm. Thirteen. Mm-hmm. I got a fifteen. Okay, it's fine. You guys just needed to beat a ten. Um, the thing is, though, there is no dust. Like, this place is clean, <coughs> but it's dark. Okay. Um, looking around, um, looking around on the walls, you can see... Um, reliefs you can see reliefs um like you know like artistic reliefs on the walls of um belial and his daughter i'm gonna take this mm-hmm. um, that's belial's daughter uh do you guys know about belial's daughter yes i spoke of her when we were traveling i remember I'm paying attention to you well, i don't listen to this one very much we know that uh, she has her own cults, and that uh, she has ambitions in hell. Do I have to roll to say like more about her? No. Okay. Um, do you know about the the feud that she has with, with her husband, with her father, Bilal? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, that she wants to uh, rule in more than just name. Well, if we run into her. Mm-hmm. Maybe she could, you know, she could help us. I don't know how you guys, I know you guys don't like demons, but... No, I very much don't. I've been struggling with this dilemma this entire journey of how to approach this, because I do understand that <coughs> using the animosity between father and daughter could assist us in our goal, however, it is so unscrupulous. Exactly. What I was going to say before this one started talking. <laughs> hmm. And I use the hilt of my sword to smash one of the reliefs. Okay, make a roll. Okay. Tw- oh, now 20. I, I messed that thing up. <laughs> Okay, and the dwarf rolls a 19 for a dodge roll, because this thing <laughs> shatters. It's it's very much one of those things of, I've been struggling with this, and I don't know what to do! <laughs> <laughs> Holy temper, Batman. Um, I just wasted a nap 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <Yes>. you did! <laughs> that was amazing, God lady. <laughs> Maybe save it for the creature. <laughs> Hmm. But she might be on to something. With the fire of the temple, we'll at least get some someone's attention. Hey! Cultist! Hey! Followers! I start playing a song <laughs> making fun of Belial. Hmm? I start playing a song. They make up a song and I start playing it making fun of Belial. Roll your performance. Okay. That's what we're looking for anyway. 19... Performance plus charisma, your charisma yeah. bonus plus your proficiency. Okay, so... It's... it's, it's I was adding it up wrong. 19, 20, 20 plus 4, so 25, yeah, 26. 26? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so... Uh, the bard starts playing a song, and if you guys were actually born in the 20th century, you would be very, very, very reminded of Weird Al. Um, <laughs> yeah, something about red and nerdy or something. Um, yeah. And Can I start smashing reliefs, too? Of course, yeah, make, make awesome. the rolls. Oh, this place wants to die. That's a 19. <laughs> <laughs> now revolting worshippers of Belial come forth so that you may be ended swiftly but horribly um 
looking at how you're tearing apart all that stone and what you said, why should we come forward? <laughs> so that we may deliver you in the name of justice. And ish. Istitia shall purify your souls after we have destroyed your bodies. Uh, we're good. <laughs> you know, maybe you guys would just like some food, and uh, if you haven't knocked over the basket, you can just take some food and leave. We did not come for your wares. Is this on, a church? Guys, 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 guys. guys. <laughs> Is food, this a free, church? Free food. That's that's all we need to hear. This is not we that kind out. of quest. Yeah, it's always that kind of quest. You don't know how things work, okay? It's always that kind of quest. You don't have to participate. No one's making you participate, food lady. We need to free <laughs> the denizen of Ravenwood I need to from free her my curse. From being empty. I'm beginning to think that Figgis is really only in this for himself. <laughs> you didn't. I will that agree to saying that. <laughs> Who turns down free food? <laughs> only those of us that are afraid of being poisoned by followers of a dark god. Well, we can have this one check it. I said that I am <laughs> not in it for those sorts of material gains. Yeah, but you're like sober, so you'd know for sure if it was poison. But I refuse to partake. But it would be a noble sacrifice. Noble? The only person that's benefiting from this is you. Exactly. Those of you guys that are not arguing, make a perception roll. Ten. Okay. And... Ooh. What's your armor class? Eighteen. Okay. So I'm going to need you... Doop, doop, doo, doop, doop, doo. Doop, doop. To take six points of damage and you're poisoned. Okay. <laughs> uh! <laughs> yeah. Muriel, what happened? I do not know. Someone shot her with a stick. <laughs> Damn it, while you guys were arguing, they were getting in a position. Get to the door! <laughs> Okay, and what's uh, your armor class? Um, also Mariah? 18. Hmm? A also 18. Okay, um, you take um, five points of damage, poisoning, and... 15. Ooh, well, that sucks. The dwarf takes six points of damage, poisoned, Let's see. and one of the arrows lands right next to your feet. <laughs> ah, get to the door. <laughs> I pick up the arrow. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of the other shape. You can pick it up as you're, well, are you picking up the arrow and running? Or are you just stopping to pick up the arrow? I'm picking up the arrow and running. Okay. Do I have to do like a, a look for an acrobat thing? Or no, 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 no. <clears throat> okay. All right. And, all right. So you guys make it to the door. <laughs> And um, you leave the door. And are you guys just standing on the porch? Or are you getting out of the way of the door? Or what's Who going got on? Hit? I did. Everyone I did. but yeah, you. Yeah, everyone but you. <laughs> I grab the hot, nice one that's going to have sex with me later. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I pull her to the, to the side of the door like, so that we're not in the way of getting shot. Okay. And then I smell the, the arrow. And can I use that, that bardic knowledge thing? Um. Or would that be like some other kind of specific class? That's a different class. Okay. So I wouldn't okay. be poisoned or anything. That is I correct. Probably not, but okay. Okay. Is anybody? No. Okay. So. Well, then I, I start, I use the 
minor or uh, mending? Is that what I can do? Mending is for general objects like clothes, oh, swords, and for, things like that. It's, it's not, not for people. people. <laughs> um, I have lay on hands. So. Which does? Um, well, I can heal oh, people. I have healing wounds. What is that? But I, I, it doesn't say anything about curing poison. <clears throat> Is poison an ongoing effect? Yes. How bad is the wound from your arrow? Hmm? How bad is the wound from your arrow? It's pretty bad. Okay. I'm going to do healing wound on uh, Angel for him again. Uh, Murati. Murati. I'm going to do healing wound on Murati. Okay. Um, and. All right. And what are you doing? I'm doing lay on hand for. Uh, Clarence. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, I'm fine. Take care of yourself. Uh, you were damaged as well. I. <laughs> I. Oh. But we're a lot sturdier. Well, we dwarves are a lot sturdier than Todd. <clears throat> uh, who else needs help? Well. I do. Yeah, you're the only one who needs healing. The bard. Like what, what, what exactly are you looking for? I'm looking for healing wounds. I'm looking for like. Is it cure spell. light wounds, healing wounds? It's, it's healing wounds. Okay, all the spells start at page two twenty six. Thank you. Can Thanks. I do lay on hand on myself? Hmm. Can I uh, read it out loud? Um. Uh, you have a pool of healing power with which you can restore up to 15 hit points. This pool replenishes after you finish a long rest. As an action, you can touch a creature and draw power from the pool to restore a number of hit points. Alternatively, you can expend five hit points from your pool to cure the target of disease or neutralize one poisoning oh, effect. Okay, cool. You can cure multiple diseases, neutralize multiple poisons with a single lay on hands, okay. expending da da da. So, uh, yeah. So, well, I said I did it to you. So, could I cure your poisoning? Um, you can, but he's already taken care of himself. Oh, he has. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's one d four. But it doesn't you say cure my poison. I can cure yours. Okay, fine. That's fine. I'll cure your poison. One d four and I'll cure plus yours. Okay. my spellcasting uh, ability modifier, which is so seven that's plus. five points so, from um, our twenty. Right. So do I just roll that because we're not in combat right now, or hmm? do I just roll to see if I did it? No, right. Uh, you still. Uh, you yeah. You still need to roll it. Okay. No, I'm, uh, yeah, like, so I can fail it still? Yes, oh, okay. you can fail. Okay. Well, I got a 13 plus... And who are you casting it on? Her. So I'm right next to her. I pulled her to it down or whatever. Okay, and what yeah. is the difficulty on it? Um, casting time is one bonus action. Mm -hmm. It only takes two feet. Mm -hmm. Duration is instantaneous. Um, it doesn't say. It says Read the creature of your choice. Mm-hmm. That you can see within range regains hit points equal to one d four plus spellcasting ability modifier. Mm -hmm. This spell has no effect on undead or construct. Okay, one d four. Okay, and now, um, Myrna, <laughs> um, I'm not gonna get your name right eventually. Um, are you going to resist um the bard's attempt to heal you? No. Okay, then you're good. Um, go ahead and make the whole. I healed her by by five. Okay. Which I think is all I took. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. And right. and we used lay on hands on each other to cure each other's poison. Right. And the dwarf actually does the same with you um, to the bard. I didn't get uh, hit, though. Huh? Oh, yeah, hit. that's right. You didn't. No, all right, fine. yeah. That's fine. So, new plan? Well, um, I can offer protection to someone else as they cross the room. Does anybody have a torch or any sort of... I can see in the dark. <clears throat> I wasn't suggesting that we use it for such purposes. You want to burn the building down? I want to burn the building down. Yes. This is 
an unholy place, and it should be demolished. But the walls are made from solid stone. We'll need a lot of oil for that. Oh, that's true. Think about it. You guys can think about this. Hmm. Very bad cleric. No, it would take barrels. I'm not a cleric. Yes, you are. No, I am no, not. No, she's not. <laughs> I'm a cleric. cleric. We're paladins. We're dressed very differently. Can you not? It's true. You are a terrible wizard. Anyhow, <laughs> we need to come up with a new. We need to come up with a new plan. Yes. There's at least fifteen of them in there, and as long as they've got elevation and 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 advantage of it being their house, there's no way we're gonna beat them in a fight. Absolutely okay. not. They are all brazen cowards, and they will not fight with honor. So I lean in, and like so that. I can scream enough that like they can hear me, mm -hmm. and not stick my head out, and um, I use vicious, what is it called? Vicious again? mockery. Vicious mockery. Ha! You didn't even hurt us with your weak poisons. We drink that for breakfast. Should I roll? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is weaker than the stuff I take in the morning for my constipation. I don't know. <laughs> So 11 plus proficiencies, or I always get confused what I'm supposed to do. Performance, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it is your performance plus your roll. 17, 18, wait, uh -huh. 17. Okay. Wait, 18, 19, it's like 21. Right. Yeah. Well, you yell it inside. <laughs> and... Um, I need to know exactly where you guys are. Are you guys, like, on the porch type thing like you are on the porch type thing but did you guys run down the stairs or no. are you guys like no, we, we, no, we just, just a little bit I back. pulled her to the, to the side of the door that's yeah. where we are yeah, yeah we, we just ran out the door and around to the, the to, right. to our, so our backs are against the wall mm -hmm. okay all right so your backs are against the wall on either side of the door mm-hmm Mm -hmm. Well, the door got knocked down, so we're mm -hmm. like on right. the wall. Yeah, yeah, on the other side of the door. Yeah, on correct, on correct. either side of the door. Yeah, correct. Okay, so, um, you hear a sliding noise. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's dirty. And they're gonna pour oil right on at the edge. Oh, right at the edge of the door, um, comes. <clears throat> A cubic stone with writing on it. Does anyone speak infernal? No. No. No one speaks infernal? Nope. But I do have religious knowledge, so. <laughs> okay, yeah, feel free. All right. Feel free. Can I roll Jack of all trades? Hmm? Yeah. Nat 20 on that. Nat 20? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well. Um, I just like rolling 20s. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a good die. You recognize the symbol? <clears throat> uh huh. Essentially, this is a rune of hellfire. Okay. And you've, um, again, with the religious roles, mm -hmm. a lot of the darker deities use these runes mm -hmm. for spell effects. So, right. in layman's terms, it's a bomb. Okay. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Spread <I've> out! <laughs> okay. Um. One... To who? Is that acrobatics? You guys are so lucky, but uh, yeah, it would be um, make a make a um, um, an athletics roll. Okay. Dex, okay. your dex plus athletics. Okay. Fifteen. Um, thank you. Fifteen. I have no athletics, so. 13. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> um, what happens is, shh, is coming from a giant stone tablet, um, and, um, the really rigid, um, Sir Stick Us Up or Butt Us, um, goes, move! And then the thing flashes like hard with light. Just <laughs> um, the three of you guys move. Unfortunately, um, the dwarf 
didn't quite make it. Ah! Oh! Oh, you... Oh, you sons of... Oh, this is not good! Ah! Ah! And after the spell goes off, you guys notice the door is back. So it was a DIY spell. Sir Clarence. Ah! DG assistance. As um, oh. as you guys, um, I'm guessing you're going to tend to Clarence. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you're tending to Clarence, and he got messed up. And by messed up, I mean, um, essentially the lower half of his leg got blown off. Okay. Because a landmine just kind of went. Right. So yeah. Um. Yeah, he is. Um, he is not doing well. Um, he's tearing up his robe mm -hmm. um, to form a tourniquet to staunch his own bleeding. <laughs> How much will laying on uh, hands help? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, um, <coughs> give it a shot. <laughs> and I'm okay. gonna roll for medicine. I'm okay. I'm gonna try and treat him. Medicine plus your intelligence. Yes. Okay, go for it. Uh, I got it. Awful roll. Um, mm -hmm. I had 12, uh, 13. Hmm? 13. At 13? Okay. My total. Um, you can see that he has this well. Well, he's got the bleeding staunched. Mm hmm. Um, it might serve you well. Yes. To find his lower foot. With okay. the door back? Um, with the door back? So what are you doing, other? Um, I am laying on hands and restoring fifteen points of health. Okay. It's all I have left for that spell until a rest. Okay. Oh, this is this is not good. <laughs> okay. I don't know what you're here for, but I came here to defile the temple. I didn't expect for it to be populated. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is painful. We're going to need backup. Uh, can we go back to the town and recruit more people? We may have to. Oh, either way. I need to get, oh, I need to get to any temple but one of these. Ugh. <laughs> Did you see which way your leg went? Did you? <laughs> no, but if you know which direction it flew in, I might be able to retrieve it and we might be able to put it back on. It was too bright a flash. Can I do a search roll? Hmm? Search. Absolutely, okay. you can do a search roll. Okay. And what is that? Huh? What's that? Perception, probably? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a standard perception. Uh, okay, I did not find it. I'm just gonna. See I'll that do a search. Out. Okay. Okay. Uh. Perception is wisdom. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Nineteen. Okay. So you found the leg. Okay, and literally it's like the second half of his calf and the foot. And a couple of toes are missing from the foot. It's pretty gruesome. Okay. Well, it's well, not pretty, but mm -hmm. the good news is I found it. Oh, that's going to be a thing. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is... I'm just going to go to sleep now. That's probably uh, a good I, idea. I'm going to play... Um, a soothing song to help the cleric um, heal. Okay, uh, go for it. Uh, it's a performance roll. Yes. 17. Okay. Um, and then it's 1d6 per performance. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use my medical skills and my medical supplies to try and reattach his leg. So you okay. Have four, four extra points. Four hit points Hopefully back. All I right, get cool. a better roll than I've been getting in the past chunk of rolls. No, I didn't. 
Uh, yeah, your leg is still not on. Yeah, this is this is a bad roll. This is this is a bad thing. Bad, bad, bad thing. All right, so, um, so to bring you guys up to speed, what we have currently is they found out that the temple to Belial is still populated. Um, there's a bunch of cultists inside. They at least have crossbows, crossbows, maybe traps. And definitely enough spells to blow the leg off of a cleric. So, are they going to make it in town in time to save good old Longhammer? Um, tune in in another 15 minutes um, at 3 o'clock, and we will let you guys know. Until then, we're taking a small break. Just a small one. Mainly because the GM has to go to the bathroom. And, um, but yeah. And again, talk amongst yourselves. And thank you guys. Again, this is Weekly One Shots. We're still doing the thing. We'll be back in uh, another 10 minutes. And we are back. So I want to take some of this time to say again hello to NP City. What's going on, guys? What's going on? So I figured I would take now to explain to you guys a little bit of plot and a little bit of what's going on. Um, we have a bunch of low-level characters that are taking on a temple. Um, narratively speaking, and this is the types of games that I am, I am a particular type of game master. And as the game master that I am, I do everything in a narrative base. I don't have a solid set story, but as was said in community, my job is to set the scene. I set the scene, I set the conditions of what's happening, and then what plays out, plays out. Now, if you guys are wondering if um, character immunity and guarantee of victory is a thing, the answer is no. <laughs> no, it's not. A character can die, a character can get hurt at any time, especially on weekly one-shots. Certain characters may not survive the adventure. Yes, I am a George R. R. Martin fan, but I read a lot more than one author. Now, where we're at right now with um, this campaign is that our NPC has definitely lost a leg. So now, we have to ask ourselves the questions, can the characters get back and get some healing done on this guy is he gonna have a false leg he might have a false leg he might get some um he might get some penalties to some of this stuff you never know what's gonna happen but here's the thing and this is a lot for new players who are used to playing video games it's not a matter of win or lose it's more a matter of what happens to this character and what stories or games can be run from it i'm sure if some of you guys have read fantasy novels or um, seen old stuff, there are characters that show up in the story with fake arms or false legs, you know, disabilities like that, you know, um, prosthetics, um, eye patches, things like that. And these things add flavor to characters because what kind of a story would it be if it was just a bunch of pretty people that always won and never had to struggle? The answer, uh, the CW most of the time. That's right, I don't really like Riverdale. But um, but when your characters, even um, in, this, in this game, it's my character, the non-player character, but um, if it's your character and you get some sort of injury or something, it adds more flavor to the character and it gives you more, um, more options for role play. So if you play a character and you want to give it, say, an amputated arm like oh, I don't know, the Winter Soldier from the Marvel movies, or you want to give it a false leg like Long John Silver. These are all things that can be played up. The question that you have to ask yourself as a player 
is how does this condition affect what my character would do? Not can do, but would do. What would a character um, who is a new amputee do? If you don't know, then that would be the time to say go to a local charity or a hospital and talk to some of the new victims. Um, find people with disabilities and talk with them or observe them and see how they function in a day-to-day -day life. Because if you lose a limb or if you get some sort of disability, that doesn't mean that your life is over. It just means that it's different. And the same with these characters. If your character loses a limb or loses an ability or suffers some kind of psychological damage, it doesn't mean that the character deserves to be retired. It just means it's different. One of the places in literature and TV that we've seen in this is in the show Game of Thrones, where the best fighter in all the Kingdom of Westeros then loses his fighting hand. I'm talking about Jaime Lannister. Spoiler for a book series that's been out for 25 years, okay? Um, when a fighter loses its arm, what is it then? It's still a person, and it still has to live a life. So, just as in real life, a disability doesn't mean the end, um, as, as, or so it goes in your narrative structure. So, that's, um, that's where we're sitting, and now we're looking, we're standing on the precipice of a character being disabled, but they have to make it back to town. So the question is, does the character die of shock in two days? Does it stabilize? Does, um... You know, does the wound get infected? There's a lot of stuff that goes there. Now, we're not playing what is known as a hardcore game. We're, we're not doing that right now. What we are doing, though, is we're adding enough realism to make it enjoyable for you guys. So with that, um, I'm going to say, once again, thanks for tuning in. And we'll see where this adventure goes. And we are back. <laughs> so, as I left it with you guys, um, so the temple has now been rebarricaded, and your dwarf has lost the bottom section of his leg. <laughs> However, the wound has been stabilized. So, what are you guys gonna do now? Get him back to town. Yeah, yeah. I say we need to carry him back and find a doctor. You two are alright, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we've even cured each other's poison wound. Okay. Good. I'm fine now. Ugh. Uh. We know, you never even got hit. I know, isn't that cool? <laughs> so, um. It must be your high dexterity. Maybe. <laughs> so, you guys, um, start your way back south. <laughs> yes. Okay. So. Um, since I like dealing in butts and therefore, um, on your guys' first night, you set up camp. And, again, um, who takes first watch? I will. Okay, um, make a perception check. All right. Uh, that is 15. Okay. Um, you definitely hear rustling it sounds like there's like three different people show yourselves and make yourselves known um i want the other two of you guys to make a perspective perception check uh, i'm pretty much asleep okay um is is your perception is it one of the the main stats or? Yeah, perception is a wisdom. wisdom. Okay, so then it's uh, 19. Okay, you wake up. Yeah, you wake up, um, but the other paladin is just done. <laughs> the other paladin's like... Can I slap her? Hmm? If you want. I'm a slapper. Okay. Wake up, you idiot! It totally works. Okay. <laughs> 
Who do you think you are? The person that woke you up, there's shit, go or there's stuff going on. Shh. Okay. Now, as, um, as you guys are talking, all right, um, you hear, <laughs> and you thought you could get away that easily. We have you surrounded. I think it's the cultists. I believe that Lady Mirati is right. I don't care what you believe. So, um, what are you guys going to do? I'm drawing my sword. Uh, I'm going to try to back up and flank, make some sort oh, of... Oh, more patrons! I start playing my, uh, <laughs> my... Well, hang on a minute. Let, let the other player finish. You were saying? I was trying to cut them off. I, I'm going to try to make a flanking maneuver so that we're in better military position Good to idea. defend each other and defend the bar, defend the party. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the bar? Dark injured okay. teammate. They're I'm going to, to. Well, we'll see. Okay, and the bard? Um, I'm gonna say what I said. Oh, more patrons, I'm gonna start playing my loot. Okay. Um, Come and sit. Make a performance roll. Okay. I'm gonna charm them and just, like, have them hang out with them. Are yeah. you casting the charm spell? Oh, I don't have charm, though. You don't have charm it person? it says that whenever I play it, it uh, improves the world. That's what it says. <laughs> uh, do I have charm person? Yeah, I do. I do. Uh, what level spell is that? It's a level one spell. All right, so yeah, you can totally play. You can totally Do try. I then, I, then it's same thing, performance, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so same roll. So and charisma, yeah. And charisma. Okay, mm -hmm. so twenty plus seven. Wait, you rolled a nat twenty? No, I rolled a thirteen. Okay. Plus plus charisma. Uh huh. Plus oh no, so so thirteen. That's four. So sorry, sorry. Seventeen plus seven is twenty three. What's your charisma stat like? 20? It's 18. It's 18. All yeah. right, that's a plus 5. It's plus 4. Oh, yeah. it's a plus 4. Okay. Yeah. And then plus 3 for proficiency, so another okay. 20 on top of that. Okay. So that's like almost 30. Hmm? Let's, I'll, I'll add it up. It's fine. So 13 mm -hmm. plus 4. Uh-huh. So that's 8, or 17. 17. Yeah. Uh-huh. Plus 7. Mm -hmm. It's 24. 24. 24. Uh-huh. So it's 27. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So... One of the cultists <coughs> um, are like, that's a really nice song. <laughs> that's a really nice song. Come and join us. And it actually walks out from the bushes um, to sit by your fire. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, keep playing. I do. Um, so here's your situation. Um, and again, this is th this this guy is really talented. Um. We've got your camp surrounded, mm -hmm. and um, we just want to know what you were thinking in coming into our temple and breaking stuff. Anyone? There is a curse on a family house in the town of Ravenwood. It has been proceeding for generations, and it needs to be broken. Mm hmm. I'd like to ask you a question. <laughs> if an agreement was made to pay three gold pieces for land, um, at two gold pieces, um, would the person that's paying have the right to keep the land but not pay the rest? I, I see what you're trying to do there. Um, but, see, that's land, and we're talking about immortal souls, and there's a difference. Tomato, tomato, a bargain is a bargain. No, a bargain is not a bargain when it was made under duress. And by the predecessors not even by the current generation. So you believe in debt forgiveness if the debt isn't paid? 
would you carry the debt on to the, the, the sins of the father down to the sins of the son? Depends on the sin. I there mean, seems to be no end hmm. in the the stipulations of this contract. It appears to be going on generations and generations with no definitive end period. Just seven. Seven generations. Seven generations and trade for safe passage. It's really simple. Can I change when I'm playing? Can I charm him too and to make then more persuasive if you if you let down the charm <clears throat> person spell on that guy then mm -hmm. you would have to start it anew with another one um so essentially you can't cast the same spell on two different things okay. you don't know enough so yet so it would break the it would break the first spell but does that really matter hmm well it so might me. Okay, well, yeah I'm, oh I, i'm still doing it too so whatever but okay Look, are, are you this group's leader? Oh, no. No, I'm barely a neophyte. But... Is the leader here? Heavens, no. Okay. I mean, in, in, in the name of Belial, he, he wouldn't leave the temple. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you don't send the mayor out to do the city guard's job. I mean, it, it's very simple. That makes sense. You came into our home... You started breaking things up, and again, there was there was a lot of property damage that was done. I mean, you seem you guys seem like you understand law and law and order. So I mean, from our perspective, you guys just well, we weren't bothering anyone. Well, from our perspective there was an issue uh, there there are there are addendums to the contract that we wish to stipulate and uh uh seven generations for one safe passage hardly seems like a fair bargain. Right. You're right. It was for 35 safe passages. But One generation per 10 people. Well, uh, really it was uh, roughly 5 people per generation. But according to the story, only 12 people made it out. Yes. We had no guarantees on the other things in the woods, but for every five that we let go, it was one generation of servitude. What's so hard about that? Uh, I need a moment. Yes, <clears throat> yes, we both need a moment. Okay, so, um, generations of servitude for safe passage they for every went ten through, people? They only went through the passage one time, regardless of how many of them there were. And that every ten... should only... Every I ten people would only be passage. three and a half yes, generations. That as well. Yes. And uh, uh, my head hurts. Um, should we just fight them? I mean. That. You're on your own, you're too many. <laughs> 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 Don't be stupid. <laughs> okay, then what should we do? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, 
Ugh. So if I've got this right, oh, for every five they let through, it was one generation of servitude for the entire party. And they agreed to that, yeah? Well, no, that's not what the cultist just said. He said for every ten they let through. And that definitely doesn't add up. Your, your no, math just it, it, now adds up. It was up. five. It was five. It is very late. Please understand. Oh, okay. Okay. It was the way your music five. is rather amusing. And I have to. The music is distracting. <laughs> How do we so know that for every ladder. five people they and and they agreed to one generation of servitude for is it just one member of the family? Do they only have one wizard? How many wizards do they have? They, they have or an sorcerers. entire side of their family that's sorcerers, correct? That that's that's half of their yes. family. That's half of their living relatives. Well, it's not up to us how many children each generation has. Well, that really hardly seems fair. No, it it still doesn't seem fair. It, I mean... A bargain is a bargain. Equity is not really necessary for a bargain to be struck. I mean, it's not... Our, it's not our fault or responsibility that they agreed to a bad deal. They made the deal. Buyer beware. May we see the contract? You would have to come back to the temple for that. Well... I mean... Then parlay. It's only that Arjun is dying and we need to save his life. Hmm. That's fine. That's fair. We could grant you safe passage. <clears throat> no, we're not doing that. Are you sure? I draw my blade. Very well. Um, I grabbed the guy that had been charming. That's the, the one, one who's talking. Oh, I charmed him? Wait. Oh yeah, that's why he came that's why he came in from the darkness. That to was sit the around. guy that came in and talked to us? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well if he's already charmed, then then I I grab him and put a knife to his head. Okay, um, <laughs> make a roll. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so 16, 16, what, what am I rolling for? Um, this is a standard grapple. combat roll, so okay. it's a it's a sort of grapple roll. I know you don't have the grappling skill. Okay. Um, but it would still be a dex bonus. Okay, and it would, and it would be plus one. Liquid, no, it's not jack actually, is it? Nope. Okay, it's plus three. Okay, right. Okay, so then it's... I have no proficiency in it, right? Right. Okay, and then it's plus dex? Uh-huh. Plus one? Uh-huh. Okay. 20. Okay. Unfortunately, you miss the guy. But he doesn't draw... He doesn't draw... Um, He doesn't draw any weapons. Okay. It's like, well, since you're not willing to bargain for safe passage, um, best of luck. Um, Make a perception check. Oh, I got an out 20 this time. 15. <clears throat> 18. It's, okay. is it, it's just the perception plus the die roll, right? Uh, it's perception plus and the wisdom. die roll plus or wisdom. Wisdom, I don't know. So yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, for 18 and 20, during this conversation, you've heard <laughs> in the back. <laughs> like, um, you're playing, and it's like, Skitter, 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 skitter. Ah! Okay. In the back. Okay. Okay? <laughs> and, um, and so this guy is, you know, well, since I can't bargain with you for safe passage, best of luck with the rest of the night. Oh, well, yes. Best of luck to you as well. Okay. Um, are you choosing? Are you guys choosing to start combat? Are they attacking us? No, right. He isn't. Oh. I am rolling.
rolling initiative if that's what's necessary. Okay, roll initiative. Okay. I mean, fuck this. Uh, I was gonna yeah. run away. <laughs> Bex, you can do that eight. on your turn. Oh, okay. That's fine. Your initiative oh, is what eight. order you. Yeah. The initiative is what order it's each member of the party. Right? Um, it's the die roll plus dex. Oh, uh, okay. Plus proficiency. What did you get? Eight. Eight? Oh, plus proficiency? Mm hmm. Uh, then 10. Okay. 24. And you 24? Got 10 as well. Yeah. Okay. I actually got 10 as well. I okay. Didn't realize the proficiency part. All right. So, 25, no one. 24, what's your dex modifier? Three. Okay, you go first. Okay. Um,. Run away, away, you fools! <laughs> Are you running away? I'm running away. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at back. How, how far is town? Two days. Oh, well, I can't, I can't get away. See, I, I thought it was closer. No, no, no. It's it's okay. a three days journey through the woods. Well, then, yeah. then I didn't say that, and I'm sorry. I won't do that again. Um, huh. Then I... Uh, I don't have any offensive stuff. Um... Bards are known for debuffing. Okay, so can so, I see anything? Hmm? This is in 60... You can 60. see that guy. Oh, okay. Um, it's dark. Okay, I, I, I debuff the guy that's right there. Alright, so go ahead, play the song. So he's cutting works, or the other thing, sorry. The uh, psychic damage still. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's got performance? Yep. Okay. And charisma. 16 plus 4 is 20 plus 3 is 23 and then mm. uh, wait, that was it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 23. Okay, what's the wisdom save on that? They have to make a will save or? Um, I'd have to look it up again. Sorry. I believe it's a will save of 10. I think it's a 1d8 or maybe it's a d10, yeah. Let me well, it starts at 2, what? 220? Yeah, 220. Uh, like 226, 227. Yeah, there's a problem. Yeah, it's called vicious. Mm -hmm. Vicious mockery. So that would probably be on 240. The spells are alphabetic. Al. Okay, so as that's happening, um, what are the paladins doing? Okay, um, I am <clears throat> getting ready to deploy de protection. It doesn't say. It says it must succeed a wisdom saving throw. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Okay, so it's of the person. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So mm -hmm. I am probably, I'm, I'm watching the enemy and guarding the bard. Okay. And Paladin? Um, I'm putting Sacred Weapon on my sword. Um, it, can I do that and attack? Uh, no, Sacred Weapon is an action. Okay, so I'm putting Sacred Weapon on my sword. Okay, unless it's a free action, check the, um, check the writing. Um, it just says as an action. There so you go, as say. an action, yeah. which means you That's get an fine. action per turn unless you get a bonus action of some length. Um, all right, so um, what's happening at this point is the dude that's um, the dude that sees like you're trying to get a grip, but um, it's listening to your vicious mockery and it smiles just a bit. Mm -hmm. It sees that you're guarding the whole thing, uh, guarding the bard. <laughs> Poor cleric. And you are blessing a sword <laughs> mm -hmm. okay and so he runs into the shadows and he runs away from the campfire mm -hmm. and you hear a rustling and a scream so they've got the cleric hmm they've got the cleric um <laughs> Who's, who's out there rustling? No, I think 
I think that was our friend. I think that was our shadowy friend. You think he was screaming? Yes, I do. I think that he met a well-deserved end out there in the forest along with the rest of his party. All right, Lady Muriel. Thanks. You, you, You keep on believing that. Okay. Um... Well, I have reason to believe it. Do me a favor and either stand in protection of of our poor ailing cleric friend or take over protecting the bard so I can guard the cleric. That's fine. Well, um, (coughs) the bard actually um, hears the cleric kind of laughing and hears a bunch of skittering. A bunch of skittering from the darkness um, on a lot of levels, like on the ground, in the bushes, and in the canopy. Oh, the guard, hello, they left a lot of noise, guys. Do we have time to get into position? Yes. Okay. So I'm guarding the cleric now? <coughs> and you're um, guarding the bard? And <coughs> I'll guard the cleric since you were already guarding the bard. Okay. And around the fire, six spiders come down on their webs from the canopies. Just fall around you guys. You know, just coming down on their webs. Six of those things? Where do you hail to? Ravenwood. We need to return our uh, ailing friend so that he may be healed. The spider looks up and down. Holy symbols. We shall take the cleric. You shall pass. Take the cleric to what ends? Raven's wood. And oh. um, five of the spiders go over and with their four legs pick up the cleric. Hurt so hurt. And wraps his lower body in webbing and just carries him off into the darkness. So, are you taking him to help? He shall be safe, as is the covenant. Thank you. Thank you, friend spider. So, who's eked out? Uh, I, I was. <laughs> but these are nice spiders, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> yes, yes, we, we accidentally killed one of them already. <laughs> Is that what you say out loud? Please say that you didn't say that out loud. No. No, I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> okay. <coughs> we don't have fear, right? Hmm? We don't have fear. Sorry. What do you mean? Hold on. Just, I have something that's supposed to be... Fear is a spell. Okay, it's a spell. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if it was like a state. No, that's fine. Yeah, no, fear is a spell, actually. Oh. It well, causes anyway. panic. I have counter charm. It, it allows me to mm-hmm. uh, protect people against... Uh, against the fear, fear spell. Fear charm. Yeah. So, none of that magic stuff, you know. Yeah. You're really good at protecting people from magically being screwed with, mm-hmm. and you're good with screwing with people with magic, but... Yeah. Um, I'm liking this campaign. Yeah, just fun. creepy stuff, on the other hand, like, oh, well, that's nice. Bunch of spiders picked up our amputee and kind of took him away. <laughs> yeah. They're not going to uh, eat him. As long as they're not going to eat him, I'm okay. <laughs> um, you really have no way of knowing that. Yeah. Well, they said they, they wouldn't. Yes, they they said he would be safe. 
as was the covenant. Oh, you trust in your living Christ. Yes. Yes, we are. So what <laughs> is your guys' plan? Head back to town. Yes, uh, let's head continue back to, town. back to town. Okay. Um, and the spiders just promised a safe passage. Yes, they did. And the second day, um, nothing happens. And the third day, nothing happened. I literally, on the random, on, on the percentage of random encounter, mm -hmm. yeah, I rolled a 35% and a 25%. Oh. I'm like, ugh, ugh. It's really hard to do but and therefore when the numbers aren't in your favor. Well, right. we had a lot of stuff happening the first night. That's true. <laughs> we deserved a break. <laughs> but did you get one? <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, you guys make it back to to Ravenswood. Um, the question is, where are you guys gonna go? You have options of tavern, city hall, and I mean, it, it's a town. So where are you gonna go? Well, I think first we are going to check on our friend cleric. Yeah, by, Clarence the cleric. Uh, going to either the local church or hospital. Yes. Okay. All right, that works. Um, yeah, you guys get to... Where is my map here? I made a map of Ravenswood. Hmm. Okay. Where did I put my map of this town? You I'm trying to rally up some people to come, to come kill all the cultists with us. That's a good because idea. Because they've been messing with the town for so long. Yeah. Like I said, you would. So I'm going to play a ballad of our... Uh, our current adventure and, and where to sign up. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, actually. Um, ah, here we go. Yeah. Um, boo, 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 boo. That's right. The Shrine of the Tri God. Okay. We lost our, uh, our other guy. You know. Hmm? We yes. Him. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, um, you guys head over to the Shrine of the Tri God in the middle of town. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which okay. is um. Yeah, and. Within the shrine, yeah, um, yeah, and the shrine of the tri god is here in town. <laughs> so, <coughs> um, so yeah, essentially in the middle of in the middle. So of town we square. have to walk halfway through town. To get there. Yeah. Um, Will we be passing by the end? Where are we at entering from? Hmm? We're coming from the north. So yes. That gate. Let's see. What? Uh, the Murky Ale Tavern? Yep. <laughs> yeah, so that means... Um, oh, no, we won't quite reach the Murky Ale before the shrine. So, Okay. Yeah, you guys are coming in from um, the Northwest Gate. So that's number 19 on the map. Isn't that fun? So yeah. We look like a couple tourists right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you guys get through the gate. You see a giant um, willow that's been split in half, at least at the base. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys are walking through the main drag. So mm -hmm. it's um, the whole town is only about two miles wide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because, you know, it, it's a town. And um, so, yeah, so the question is, um, are you guys going to, um, where are you going first? Are you going to? We're going to the shrine. Okay. Yes. And, and I guess Vegas is continuing on to the town? Murky Ale. Um, <coughs> we've met one or two people in town. Okay. Um, so. Mm. Um, <coughs> okay. Um. I'll get to your thing as soon as I square them away at the shrine. Um, so you get to the shrine of the Trigon, mm -hmm. okay? And you notice um, you notice the look of the shrine, and you remember what Clarence said outside of the shrine to Baal. Just how come the evil ones always have the better stuff? <laughs> mm -hmm. Because this shrine, it is very much a shrine, but it's not nearly as ornate with stone. Okay, right. it looks more like a church. Mm -hmm. Like less of a temple and more of a church. 
And so it's made out of wood and it, it's got high ceilings and stuff. But all in all, it's more like a community church and less like a Capitol building. And I'm guessing you guys head inside? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Try and find either a okay. priest or a Well, when you guys get in. And see if we see Clarence there. Yeah, when you guys get and in. ask after Clarence. Yeah. yeah, when you guys get in, um, there is a 20-something-year-old guy. Greetings. Ah, hello, um, wayward paladins of, it seems, Estitia. Well, 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 welcome. Um, how can we help you? Do you need food or rest? Uh, actually, we seek after a friend who... The spiders may have brought by? Ah, the dwarf! Yes, yes, he is... You must be the companions he was saying something about. Yes. Yes. Well... Yes, how is he doing? Um, he is stable. We commend you on the bravery of giving a full frontal assault onto the fortress of Baal. Um, we'll, we'll happily take you to They deserve no him. less. They deserve much more, but it was... It would be foolhardy of us to go back there alone. Indeed. Truly. And they take you to, um, um, they take you back to the infirmary. You get to the tavern, <laughs> and, um, and here's the upside. Ready? Okay. You're alive. Okay. Here's the downside. You smell terrible. Okay. You've been traveling for six days, and That's you got true. covered in spider stuff and all that jazz. So, I guess I go to the... Okay, and Charlotte is there. Um, do you have a bath? Of course I have a bath, and God knows you haven't. Ugh. <laughs> do you have a bath I can use hmm? <laughs> for rent? Um, of, of course. Um, so I'm guessing you ran away from the other holy people. I just smell and want to get rid of it. <laughs> well, fair, since you are assisting them, you can... Um, you can use room number seven. Thank you. I'll go and get that. Okay. Back at the temple. Um, yes, your friend is stable, but we weren't able to reattach his leg. Mm. So, unfortunately, he will have to live out the rest of his days with this prosthetic made of steel. Oh, oh. Well... That I'm, seems I'm a sure fair that, trade. Yes. As, as amputees go, he must be one of the happier ones. Indeed. Well, as it stands, it was a blessing that he didn't that he did not bleed to death. I'm sure, if not for all of the blessings between the three of you, um, he would have for sure for surely died. Fortunately, the covenant of the town protected him as well. I'm glad that we could help in any way. Sincerely, uh, the safety of Brother Clarence was our top priority at the time. Of course it was. Um, is there anything else that we can help you with? Do you need balms or potions? I'm well. Uh, I guess perhaps we could use somewhere to shake the dust of the road? Oh, of course. Well, if you were tackling the temple, chances are Charlotte was the one that sent you. Um, you may be able to go back to um, the Merc. Yes, the Murky Ale. Is that also where we would best uh, find others to join our quest? <laughs> Sadly, no one in town are adventurers. We only have them pass through. <laughs> yes, where would we meet other adventurers who are passing through? Having never been an adventurer myself, I could not tell you. But I did once hear a bard that was passing through say something about all stories beginning and ending at the tavern. I don't know if that was artistic hyperbole, but it may be a thing. I suppose that 
we should return to the murky ale. Uh, may I visit Brother Clarence before we leave here? Oh, of course. And so... Thank um, you so much for your aid, brother. Always. So, um, they take you up to the infirmary, and there's only one bed <laughs> with someone in it. Like, this is... The, um, so, of course, it's Clarence. Ah! <laughs> so it looks like you survived the ride back. Indeed. Uh, the spiders were not being insincere when they offered their protection. Well, uh, what kind of servants would we be if we had no faith? Indeed. Oh, but I do have to say my toes hurt. Oh, the toes on the intact limb, correct? Nah, it's something called phantom pain I read about when I was studying. Uh, so in a certain way, it kind of feels like I still have my leg. Oh. I'm so sorry. Certainly, so am I. It happens. I know it was unwise to try and rush head first into a temple or fortress. But what can one do besides? Who would have thought they would have had an explosion rune? I certainly did not foresee that. Mm. But I've taken matters into my hands. I've sent the letter back uh, to the main temple to request more experienced help. So who's to say? Maybe they'll send people that are more qualified. But there is no way I was going to be able to do it. And from what I can tell, there was no way that you guys would be able to win as well. Oh. We do apologize for putting you in such grave peril. Ah, don't be foolish. I was on my way without you. Had I not run into you, had I not the blessing of running into the three of you, I'd been been nothing more than sprawled on some sort of torture device deep within the temple. Well, at least we managed to get away with our lives. If we'd had more time, perhaps we could have regrouped. That is a possibility. But at least we'll live to see another day. Yes. Yes. Ah. And sometimes that's the best you can say. Indeed. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call this week's episode of Weekly One Shots. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yep, sometimes you don't win the adventure, you don't finish, but finding out a little bit more about the town and seeing that sometimes victory is simply survival. So, um, did you guys have fun with this game? Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. totally. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, again, like I said, the narrative thing is, is, is a real thing when it comes to a lot of games. And truth... You know, um, like I was saying to the audience, that sometimes you don't win every time. It is just a real thing. But sometimes finishing the adventure is simply surviving. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and of course, NP City is like, hooray, surviving! Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, you know, you never know. You may run into Clar- uh, Clarence, the differently abled bard later on, or the differently abled cleric in another adventure down the road. Maybe Clarence you guys will too. Um, maybe you guys will too, but thank you for tuning in to Weekly One Shots. I want to thank, of course, the people over in NP City. Hey, NP City! Woo-woo. And, um, and yeah, so if you guys like what you see, um, then drop us an email. Or if you really like what you see and you want to help out, then feel free to hit up our Patreon. Um, we could always use a backer, and believe me, the more patrons that we have the better our shows will be particularly because we'll be doing this full time and i will be able to hire other people to do a lot of the post-production and the pre-production so we can spend our time writing but with that i want to say um you know thank um thank everyone for showing up thank the siblings for showing up and of course thank quinn jen for showing up one more time and if you guys are interested in all that jazz and what we do here, 
then feel free to contact us with, you know, if you guys join the Patreon, then you guys can actually suggest um, other games for us to run. If not just 5th edition D&D, but we can run games from Steve Jackson, White Wolf, Palladium, um, you name the game, and believe me, I can find a GM to do it, depending on how much time I have to read the rulebook. But with that, I have to say, feel free, like I said, if you guys um, want to contact us, feel free to hit us up at backinthedeck, uh, backinthedeck at gmail.com. That's B-A-C-K-I-N-T-H-E-D-E-C-K at hotmail or at gmail.com. Hotmail, that's a personal thing and I'm old. But um, feel free to watch um, some other stuff on the YouTube. Just look for BidP. Um look for bid p that's b-i-d space p or back in the deck on youtube and you'll be able to see our archive which we've been doing more work and follow us on twitter to see some of the polls and to drop us a really quick line you know if you're in line at say the grocery store or something like that and if you want to talk to us more often hello more often then join deckers on the book on our facebook that is our facebook group called deckers on the book where you can see what the deckers have been 3d printing and building and painting um, talking about some of the stuff that uh, some of the campaigns that we've been reading and writing and all that other stuff and if you're a lot like us then feel free to not watch us if you're stuck in traffic because you need boop, 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 to keep your eye on the road which means you should be listening to us on SoundCloud in the archive check your RSS feed but go to SoundCloud slash BID underscore P and of course join us on the Instagrams at back in the deck and again i want to thank you guys for showing up one more time for our weekly one shots i know it is saturday afternoon it's almost saturday evening here in california being a quarter to four in the evening so for those of you guys on the east coast i know it's kind of late and it's right before new year's so thank you for coming to one of the final shows of 2018 look at that 2018 <laughs> yeah, that's right and uh, join us tomorrow for Inamine, the last Inamine game of 2018 as well. And that'll be tomorrow on back um, on twitch.tv slash BID underscore P at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And with that, I'm going to say um, thank you guys for showing. And yes, we did end our campaign with someone getting a prosthetic leg because, again, there's room in fiction and in life for just about everybody so i say just about everybody because we got no room for the people that want to take away room from everybody else <laughs> y'all know who you are and with that oh wait wrong button and with that i'm gonna say thank you guys for showing up and if anybody tells you that you can't have the hobbies that you like because of circumstances of your birth be it race religion creed gender identification sexual preference your disability or your budget you just tell those people that we said take that card and put it back, back in, the in the deck. deck. This is Solar Gray, the Cinematic Sorcerer, saying we'll see you guys tomorrow on Anomine.